evening against Colorado in a South Region first round showdown. Gator guard Will Richards says the team will be ready. Yeah, we watched uh, the first half together the team, and uh, we all went back to our rooms and watched the whole game. Uh, they're a good team, they're talented, so uh, we're, we're going to prepare for them and be ready for them. Tip off is at 4 30. University of Florida rewarded coach Todd Golden with a two year contract extension Thursday that bumps his average salary to $4.1 million annually. Under Golden, the Gators were in the SEC tournament finals for the first time in several years, and the team is making its first appearance in the NC2A tournament under Golden. In the East Coast Hockey League, the Icemen will face the Greenville Swamp Rabbits this evening at Five Star Veterans Memorial Arena. Puck drops at 7 p.m. At your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist Local Sports Update, I'm Sam Nelson. 65 degrees at 9.57, time and temp, brought to you by Bueller Air Conditioning. Stay cooler with Bueller. Tone 10XL is presented by Barra and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. I, I, I feel like I can do it all. You know, I've, I, I did so much when I was at Buffalo, whether if it was, you know, catching deep balls or, you know, lead blocking through the C gap. I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm very versatile and can, you know, play any type of game that needs to be played, whichever week. There's Allen taking to the right, going to the end zone. And who else? Dave Davis with the touchdown catch on the opening drive. You know, I think it's going to go very well. And, you know, I plan to, to have a long career. You know, I think I got a good five or six more years in me. So I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I didn't did it before going to teams that didn't really have it all the way together. Then like early years, a new head coach and stuff. And you got to deal with just that early year. But like, I know this team, you know, it's moving forward, moving up. Ten Ten XL ninety two point five FM presents. Jaguars today with your hosts Mike Dempsey, Tony Smith, and Tom McManus. All right, everybody, welcome in. Happy Friday to you, Jaguars today. Off and rolling, a little gloomy outside. Am I too loud for you, Tommy? No, with, I just you know with the headset. It, yeah, I yeah I can't. Well, I can't hear when you're talking. Just don't worry about it. I hear better with uh, with it sitting right there. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. All right. Fine. Well, I, I had him on, but then you did. before we started, you kept saying stuff. Like, I was talking to RJ in, well, the, in the next room. You're looking right at me. I don't know. So I'm <laughs> taking the thing off, and then you stop talking, then I put it back on. That's you true. start talking, then, I, then I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to set him right well, here. And during the portion everything. of the show where we're on the air, yeah. the mics are on, so they – you don't really that need audio the goes through the headset. Honest. You don't have to have it. Yeah, you don't need it. I like the way it sounds, though. Okay. I feel like I'm disconnected when I don't have the headset on. I'm with you. Okay. You're just kind of floating and talking. Well, you guys make me feel so comfortable that I don't feel. Do like we, I Tom? Need to. Yeah. Well, that's I, I, great. I, this is one of my safe, you know, uh, places. Safe, safe haven. <laughs> safe spaces. Safe spaces. that I need. Yeah, yeah. Tom McManus. Good safe morning, here. Tony. Good morning, Tony. Crushed it. We're going 12 and four I did. in the bracket yesterday. Oh, nice. I was doing well. Were you? And then I lost a bunch of games. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it worked. I, I was seven and one in the first eight. So, Were you? I was yeah. uh, I was six and one, and then I and I had Nevada, and they're up seventeen with like seven minutes yeah. to go. Yeah. And they, I mean, how do you lose that game? Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest. I I uh, I had date night with my four lionesses, including my wife. We went down to the. Uh, corner in AB. They had a little art walk. We had dinner. So I didn't watch anything. So you weren't anything. locked in on the BC game Came last night? I, I, didn't, I didn't watch any hoop. I don't watch a lot of hoop. I do watch March Madness on occasion. Tom is not sure at this yeah. moment if BC is in the field. NIT. They're in the NIT. I said that. Oh, okay. The well, you are sure. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, they're on my How Twitter. How dare I? They're on my Twitter feed. I watch, Hockey's number one in the country, I believe. Yeah. They're Look kicking, at you kicking questioning the alum. But um, <laughs> going to get that Frozen so Four we, title this year, we baby. Get, we get home, I don't know, whatever it was, 9, 9, 30. Yeah. And I, I'm like, oh, I'm, we're sitting there around the table just kind of chatting. I'm like, wait a minute, it's March Madness. Let's see what's on. And I click it on. The girl's like, oh, Dad. You know, I'm like, yeah, come on. It's fun. Anyway, it's Oak, <laughs> halftime. Come on, Pop. Oakland and Kentucky. I'm like, man, I'm going to grab another drink and sit down and watch yeah, and this thing. And that kid, Golgi, man. That was he, he, awesome. was, that was unreal. he was I a love gunner. the coach yelling at him, the game's not over. At the end, right. the, the one kid's going, chill, man, chill. Man. Right. Well, so I mean, uh, he, they asked the coach at, at halftime, what, what are you going to tell him? Keep shooting. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> you ain't, we're not going to yeah. beat him unless yeah. you keep doing this. So That was cool. That uh, was he, only, he knocked down three in the second half, but uh, yeah. ten overall. I was, guys was, get like that. I, yeah. I looked at – somebody put his stats on Twitter, Tone. Mm-hmm. Uh, at, at 200 – like 200 – I want to say 58 shots taken this year, 256. 
two forty eight were three pointers. Wow. He, he will he not. Okay. He'll pass yeah. up a layup now. He's really coach tells snuck up on Kentucky shooting those threes. What are they doing? I, yeah. I don't understand. I mean, yeah. Kentucky's the best three point shooting team in America, yeah. and yeah. they weren't yesterday. So. And think about it: the uh, Oakland was terrible at the free throw line. I mean, they, they were, were struggling, and it was in, yeah. And that coach wild. so much wanted to say the refs are in the tank for Kentucky at the half. By the yeah. way, he's like, we foul less than any team in America, <laughs> like statistically. Like yeah. they don't send their opponents to the line. And Kentucky had all these free throw attempts yeah. in the first half, and it, you, he just wanted to say, "Come on, right. how much more obvious Give us can you a make?" Fair it? shake, so. man. That was great. We got R.J. Saunders in yeah. producing right. today. R.J., what's what going up? On? No, what up? How's your bracket looking, R.J.? Busted. Yeah, me too. Just yeah, the way it goes. I'm telling you, my wife looks pretty damn good. Yeah, she does because she always picks certain teams. If Maryland was in the field, she'd have them going deep because she thinks it's funny that their mascot's a turtle. All right, <laughs> okay. uh, and that's how she is, yeah, right? right, right. Yeah. Boilermaker, that's a funny yeah. word. Purdue, oh, yeah. they happen to be a one seed, so it worked right. out for you, yeah. right? Yeah, she's got Duke winning it all because she always has Duke winning it all. Okay, uh, and she has. Illinois going deep, and they happen to be a three seed, yeah, you know, because right. she thinks Illini is a funny nickname. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. I'm actually jealous of that, right? That, that you freedom can, to pick. Yeah, that you're committed to it every year, right? Like you're kind of a fan of your bracket, right? Yeah. Every year, like that. That's a cool way to be able to do March Madness. I don't. I don't have that. It's random. Every year I get handed a sheet and go, I don't know. No, so, Heather's Purdue, Illinois, Maryland, Duke are going to make a run every year. At least win a couple games and then, yeah. you know, but whatever the case. But NC State was her, her kind of dark horse. Not not that even, she even knows what a dark horse is. <laughs> oh, right. When it comes right. To, right. I mean, seriously, like, doesn't think in those terms. You know, but she had NC State winning three games. Yeah. Very plausible. Right. Yeah. Stina joined me at the very end, uh, you know, watching the game and that, watched the interview. And the kid said, we're not a Cinderella. She's like, what does that mean? explain what a Cinderella There you go. It's like, oh, I like that. That makes sense, yeah, right? Makes we don't, sense. you know, it hasn't struck midnight on our right. season yet. Yeah, we, no, we <laughs> deserve to be here. Is right, we, that, a, yeah. of course. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Cinderella's yeah. kind of like. Cinderella the, means you yeah. you got invited and you kind of put on a, you know, right, put right. on the disguise yeah. and then right. come Every midnight, and then you're you going to get found out. Yeah, you're going to get turned back into a pumpkin. Certain point in time, you're going to get found out. I miss a shoe, I guess. Yeah. Maybe missing a shoe. Right? Maybe that, comes you know, <laughs> they threw a shoe to uh, All right. So, um, yeah. you know, it, not as busy a week for Jaguar no. football, no, but right. still yeah. kind of settling in now. I think we feel like the heavy lifting is done at this point in time. Although, you yeah. know, Monday, Joey Sly and Travis Gibson, so yeah. they can still yeah. sign right. players. But, Tone, I, I'm looking at these lists, top 15, top 25 remaining free agents, mm-hmm. and I'm like, Nah, don't need it. Don't need it. You know yeah. what? Like I, I don't. At this point, I think maybe there's a target of opportunity. Maybe one of these trades materializes. I'm not counting on it. But yeah. I think for the most part, now it's let's get to some pro days. Let's focus yeah. on our plan for the draft. I think with free agency, they filled a lot of needs, mm-hmm. and that's what it's used for. And then you grab talent that you can develop in the draft, and hopefully help you right away. Uh, so you fill know, the whole suit off the position. reach. Right. right? Exactly. It's totally doesn't totally mean you dead, can't take a center. If oh, you right. love a center, right. right? But you don't have to but take you don't a center. Have to. Yeah, right. you don't I think have to still have some movement. You got to wonder, you know, with the offensive line, you know, with Cam and what they're going to do. Do you there. think there's another move that they're going to make? Do you think that? Depend, I mean, what what it, what if they believe Anton can play left? I'm sure they do believe, that. and maybe they want him to play left. But don't you? I mean, everything they've said is Demetrius Harvey of the Florida Times Union joined us yeah, yesterday. He's he fantastic. said it's like, hey, they're they're telling you and they're showing you. Right, yeah. they're 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 saying they're coming out and saying, "Oh, what do you mean Camp's not going to be part of this team? Where would you get that idea?" Of course, yeah. we got the idea from yeah. Trent Baalke being non-committal about it the very first time he spoke right. this off season, right. but, and it was an idea that was already in a bunch of people's heads. Sure, right. So it wasn't like he got asked the question and said, "What do you?" No, like right. he's going to be part of the team. Yes, yeah. right. Like he could have answered it that way. He didn't, and so there was already the speculation that maybe they move on from Cam this year. And then he didn't say we're moving on or not moving on. Right, so but the next went, well, time then they're going to move on. Where did yeah. this come from? Right. Yeah. Well, that's well, where it came from. Yeah. Well, that in common sense. I mean, look, he's been injured. When he's healthy, he's, he's fine. He's been suspended. He's been, been injured. Suspended. He's been injured. You know, he, you, you could save sixteen million against the cap. Numbers high. You know. It, yeah. If he could give you fifteen it's a, games, it's a healthy, good yeah, but draft for offensive tackle in the first round. The right? whole situation is a little weird to me, Tommy. Even if those are the two tackles they go with, yeah. right, with Cam and Anton, because I'm not convinced in my mind that Cam isn't the better right tackle. 
right? If he would just be willing to do it, and mm. Anton, the better left tackle, yeah. if he was just put in that position. Like, I'm still – that thought is still in my head that yep. Cam's better position – is as a right tackle, but to this point, he's been unwilling to even hear any of that talk yeah. in his career, which the man wants to make whatever money he can make, so he's well, trying to take a stand for yeah. where he wants to be played, but I still look at it and say, I think he's probably a better right tackle. But but the tag, and you may be right, but the tag number's the same, right? It's just the whole offensive line. Right, yeah. so the left tackle and the right tackle mm-hmm. are the same now, so it's the same money if for you the perform tag. at a high for level. tag. But not but on you, whatever contract you're going to Right, sign. you're a free agent next offseason. You yeah. want to be thought of as a left tackle. Generally, you're going to make more money. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he's always I mean, been, look at Juwan. I mean, you got $60 million guaranteed. <laughs> oh, I'm with you. Well, yeah. they, they but they thought they were going to play. Remember when they oh, signed him, they, they said, gonna we're going to play him at left tackle. And then they yeah. – it's like, yeah. did they – that's a, an interesting situation, right? Like, did, did they think – that he was capable of playing left tackle, and then they signed him for all that money and realized he couldn't at that point? Or you know, I, I just think that last year here, he had a really good year. He was good. And, and no, everyone was absolutely. like, you know what? He finally has come around to be consistent. And and if we've always loved his, his tenacity, right? He just got beat a lot in, you know, around the edge and penalties. And <laughs> Tons of penalties. Just not <laughs> right. good enough. But, you know. I think he's uh, a good player. I don't know if he's a $20 million player. You know, but oh, in gosh, the, in the, the market end, today is right. Just who, right, they, exactly. You start thinking you about the market, what, and you're like, w- right, what does the right. average guy make at that yep. position? So yep. again, don't need to get caught up. As Tony says, we remark all the time, don't get caught up in the money, except for oh, right. Yeah, right. what it allows or restricts you to do with the next guy you're trying to yeah. sign. Yeah, you reach a point. You, they, you know, even though the salary cap is quote fake, right. you know, you still. I mean, every year the Saints are cutting a lot of veteran players right. for that fake salary cap to get in compliance. Right, right. And you can look. I mean, you you can comment on it, right? Like I wouldn't have paid um, Ridley fifty million in guaranteed money if I was any team. But that's just my opinion, you know. And it's not like sure. it's the money. I'm just like, wow, that that's set in the market. You know what I mean? Um, good for him that he got it. But I, you know, you know what I'm saying. So I agree with you. You can't sit there and be like, oh, he's not worth the money. Just look, if he betters your team, yeah, and he fills a need that you need, right? But it is, are you doing that at the right use of like? It's one thing to say, okay, he fills a need. I, my team's better. That doesn't mean I have to spend thirty million on this player. You know, like Mitch Morse improves this team. Yeah, makes them better. Yeah, doesn't mean he's worth twenty million a year. Right. You no, know, it's just the, the market. Right. right? His so, market is what it. See, what as it, long as you're not out. wildly overspending. Overspending. On that, guys. That's a fair point. But I mean, I mean, who? I'm not a capologist. I don't know. I you guys you. know better than I do. Look, I I am apparently not because I. Would have thought Trent Baalke would have run out of money months ago. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I, you know, like I just no doubt. No every doubt. time you, yeah. you look up and it's like, oh, and and that first year cap hit. I'm like, yeah. that third year cap hit for all these guys. <laughs> It's yeah. going to be astronomical. And the way free agency works is you can be the team that spends all the money on Calais Campbell, and you're doing jumping jacks, right? Yep. For the next two, three years, it's like, look at, we we nailed this, yeah. right? Yep. And you can also be the same franchise who thought they were doing the right thing when they signed Hugh Douglas. And they really mm. thought they were doing the right thing mm. when they brought that guy in. And that blew mm. up in their face almost immediately. I mm. was so excited when they signed him. I mean, he just came Dude, off like was... 12, 13 sacks. I was like, man, he's going to finally get us a real pass rush. For... But he he didn't. He he's didn't. He, I, To me, he's the ultimate fan. And we did this we did, a few weeks, weeks ago. ago yeah. he, to me, he's the ultimate face of failed free agency in Jacksonville. Because he delighted in it. Like, he laughed about it. Yeah, yeah I got there. went there. Got yeah. fat, didn't care. They paid me all this money. Didn't yeah, it just didn't it's just terrible. just. It, I mean, it's one thing to steal the money and keep your mouth shut. You know, and go. You know, who's gonna fault you? Somebody yeah. offers you right. ten, twenty no, right, million. Right. Why don't you take right. the damn money? Like he right. put it on his Twitter profile, <sighs> yeah. right? Like a vacation in Jacksonville. He put it on his Twitter profile. It was yeah. up there for a number of years. It's hard to believe like, Twitter's uh, that been old. around that long, no, right. right? Well, it hasn't. Yeah, that's the point. Like Twitter came around oh, after it, all that. He had put happened. it in his profile after. And then it was like, in his profile, oh, right? Wow, like man. it was just like now I got a Twitter profile. Why not include right. this that, joke was that about right Jacksonville? Under, got my ass beat by T.O. Or was that? Oh, or was that no, he didn't include that one. <laughs> not on there, I guess. I don't <laughs> know. Allegedly, allegedly, yeah, allegedly. Allegedly. Right. Anyway, uh, yeah. Today, so let's look back. Uh, we'll go back through the week that was okay. with you, but yeah. uh, today in particular, been a lot of additions. To yeah. the team. Obviously, there have been some subtractions as well. They wanted Calvin Ridley. They were unable to get that done. But wow. in terms of guys who were not part of this 
organization or coaching staff at the end of the season. In other words, Josh Allen was there. He played. He's not an addition. He's You keep him around for now on the okay. short term. So we came up with the guys we thought were the four biggest additions to the team. You tell us which is the most impactful, the most important one okay. that they've made so far. Okay, And that includes defensive coordinator Ryan Nielsen. Oh. Right? That's in addition to your okay. football team okay. that, that uh, you know, obviously the defense – yeah. Not up to their standards. Not saying the offense was, okay? But uh, Ryan Nielsen, then you've got the key free agent signings, Eric Armstead, Mitch Morse. That's a big battle because, you know, the I think Armstead is seen as the better player relative to Morse compared to their position. But the position of center was so bad for the Jags that the improvement might be greater there. And we put Gabe Davis in as the next likely suspect. Poor Gabe's not going to get a lot of votes in this group. I don't think. You know, but yeah. uh, we'll see. So those are the four out there: Davis, Armstead, Morse, and Nielsen. Uh, who has been the most important addition the Jaguars have made? The best addition to this roster or coaching staff to this point in time? You can vote one click at MD underscore ten ten XL. Don't forget to give us your feedback at ten ten XL Fat Tony and at Meathead fifty five RJ. I am unprepared. Give me the R.J. Saunders. Even though I follow you, give me the R.J. Saunders Twitter feed, please. R got no J. R got no J. That's right. I forgot all about that, man. That's a great one. He, he just got to feed that guy down under the basket, man. No, he's, no he, he is not no gulky, okay? Yeah. He's not that gulky <laughs> fellow stepping out, draining threes all day, apparently. R got no J. Uh, hit us up in the YouTube chat. Uh, or get on board on the All Pro Roofing phone lines at 641-1010. Same number for the text line designed by Lifetime Enclosures. And give us your feedback today on all things Jaguar related. We got Tom McManus back in studio with us after a one-week That's Players' right. Championship hiatus. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, did uh, man, what a week in Ponte Vedra. Oh, it was huh? phenomenal. It was unbelievable, yeah. man. I the mean, weather, the just game. absolutely yeah. Crazy. That was another one. Was. We spent Sunday on the beach, you know, with spring break and my my, my uh, middle uh, daughter in town and come home and the two guys trying to tie it up for the playoff. Yeah. I just haven't putted yet. I li- right when I turned oh, it. So oh, so you, you, you got perfect. in. Right, yeah. This is perfect, man. I didn't have to watch all of it. I just watched the ending. That was pretty Fast pretty awesome. forward to the drama, baby. Yeah. That's what you did, right? It it's cool. like the NBA. Just fast forward to the last 90 seconds yeah, or right. so and uh, yeah. all the runs have been made and we get yep. down to crunch time. All right, so uh, let us know your thoughts on anything Jaguar related, but particularly today, uh, what is the best addition the Jags have made so far this offseason? Armstead, Davis, Morse, or Nielsen? Those are your options. And if you think it's somebody else, drop a reply with the name of that person that you think uh, will upgrade this team the most based on the moves they've made so far. Mike Dempsey, Tony Smith, Tom McManus, and R.J. Saunders here with you. You're listening to Jaguars today on 1010XL and 92.5 FM. Hey, folks, Mike Dempsey for Awaken 180 Weight Loss. Who's the next at 1010XL to drop a bunch of pounds? I tell you what, we're running out of people because we're running out of pounds to drop. That's all thanks to Awaken 180 Weight Loss. What a great program. It's not a diet. It's not certainly not a crash diet. It's not... Uh, some kind of medical procedure, no injections, there's no medications that you're taking with this. You learn how to eat to turn your body into a fat-burning machine, and you eat to lose weight five or six times a day. You're going to be eating a lot of food, folks. Uh, Trust me, it's not a starvation-type situation, and you're going to be amazed as the pounds just drop off your body because you're putting the right fuel in. Awaken 180 weight loss, yeah, you're going to lose that weight, but once you hit your goal weight with Awaken 180, free coaching and support for life. That's right. I've been on that part of the program all the way back since October, October, November, December, January, February, now into March, and the weight loss has been maintained. Call 844-346-1800 or go online to awaken180weightloss.com. Jaguars Today Friday is brought to you by CSS Fireplaces and Outdoor Living from the JOI Studios at 1010XL, where the pros go. Get Florida Gators play-by-play on 1010XL. The Gators take the bases in Baton Rouge. Tonight at 7, Saturday at 6, and Sunday at 2 on 1010 AM. Top Dog Tavern is your gathering place for family and friends, offering something for everyone. Want a delicious meal served with a smile? We have you covered. Shareable appetizers, hot and crispy wings, juicy tavern burgers, fresh salads, plus a large craft beer selection. And there is nowhere better to watch all the big games than on our multiple TVs. Enjoy great food, cold drinks, and good times 
at Top Dog Tavern, located in Bartram Park off Old St. Augustine Road. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. No more betting inside your head. A no regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1 888 Admit It. Open early and open late. Dailies is always there, making things easy for you to cruise in and cruise out. So hit Dailies Cold Case the next time you're craving a cold one. Bud Light by the case. Plus plenty of singles to choose from Corona to the King of Beers to Stella or a Nat. They're all cold at Dailies. Has someone you care about been arrested or had their driver's license taken away? I'm Susan Cohen, and I work with David Robbins at the law firm of Epstein & Robbins. We are experienced fighters for those charged with DUI, domestic violence, and all criminal offenses. In your battle with the justice system, there's only one thing you need to know. Dial David, 24-7 at Epstein & Robbins, 354-5645. 354-5645. It's Kubota Orange Days, your golden chance to score a deal that will make your neighbors green with envy. Shop the year's best selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. And get the year's best deals, like 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off L3302 tractors. Coastal Equipment on New Kings Road and in McClenny. Coastal Equipment. Buzzer Beavers, Squeaky Sneakers, Championship Believers. Yes! Follow the madness and listen for live tournament updates on 1010XL. Brought to you by Duck Duck Rooter Plumbing, Septic and Air Conditioning. Hey there, Jacksonville. With scorching temperatures just around the corner, it's crucial to ensure your AC is blowing nice and cool. Duck Duck Air Conditioning is here to keep you comfortable all summer long. But don't wait until the heat gets here. Our service techs are ready right now to handle any cooling issues you may have at your home or business. Call Duck Duck AC today at 904-862-6769 to schedule. That's 904-862-6769. Duck Duck Air Conditioning, online at duckduckac.com. This is Joe C. from XL Primetime and stoked to crank up the 9 after 5 once again at the Golf Club of Southampton. Every Wednesday, a little after 5, the gang at Southampton will be hosting us with a new game, and I'm inviting you to be a part of it. Now, through the summer stretch, break up the week with a little hump day fun every Wednesday. Call 287-PLAY to get on the tee sheet. There'll be food afterwards and prizes, including playing for a membership at the Golf Club of Southampton. Call 287-PLAY and hit the tee with Joe C. Keeping your body healthy and active leads to a more vibrant life. A great place to do that is the First Coast YMCA. The Y is equipped with state-of-the-art cardio and strength equipment, plus group exercise studios where trainers host activities like yoga, Zumba, and cycling sessions. The full-court basketball gym and indoor five-lane swimming pool are open year-round. The Kid Zone can keep an eye on your kids while you work on that dad bod. And it's all available with your family membership. Learn more at fcymca.org. Looking for a new or used firearm? Beaches Jewelry and Pawn in Jack's Beach will get you locked and loaded. New firearms coming in weekly and always looking for used guns. No lines and no waiting. Online at beachesjewelryandpawn.com. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Mac in the Middle, Tom McManus. Brought to you by Renewal by Anderson. A better way to a better window on 1010XL. My man, RJ, told I, you. How did we I discover that we both really like this song? I think uh, you came in singing it. Did I? Yeah. And then I started singing it, too, because it was stuck in my head. Uh -huh. And that just became our thing. It was. It kind of yeah. is our thing, that we like sailing I by in? Christopher I li Cross. I like, I like it. I like the other one by Christopher Cross, too, the... Uh, when you fall in love in New York and it, you know, whatever. Yes. You know what I'm talking uh, about? It's, uh, yes, I do. That's a great tune. I do. You know what I'm uh, saying? It's I do. It's famous. I do. Famous, and yeah. it's, and it's Between New York City. Uh, if you Arthur. get caught between the, the moon and New York yeah. City. Yeah, Arthur's uh, Is that Christopher theme. Cross? Yeah. Arthur, Arthur's theme. It's a good song. Yeah. I like that. Remember yeah. Arthur the movie with, Arthur uh, with uh, Dudley, Dudley Moore? Moore yeah. Yes. We're the same era. We are the same <laughs> era. No, I, I absolutely remember. And that's, yeah. that's how you know that 
song, and I, I don't know if I've ever seen the movie. I did <laughs> as a kid, I think. Did you? Yeah. Was it like an adult-ish movie? I always felt like it I was think a movie. He was doing cocaine, so maybe there yeah. was some cocaine in it or something. He was a mess. He was a really rich guy who fell. You never know, man. It. Those seventies, eighties kids movies. Let me tell you what. I went Star back. Face. <laughs> I went back and watched a few movies with uh, my son, like that. My yeah. wife and I th- yeah. loved, and we're yeah. like. Oh, that's problematic. Uh, Fast times in Richmond High. That makes me uncomfortable me? now. <laughs> like, like, ugh. Uh, all right. Uh, so anyway, sure. yes, uh, sailing by Christopher Cross. Nice. Beautiful voice, Christopher. Oh, great. Great job. You know, yeah. just uh, that's me, mellow, kind of easy like listening five guy. Hits that you didn't. Re- I didn't. Oh, Christopher Cross. Him. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. And I didn't realize it was all him. To be honest with you. Is that right? No. <laughs> that's right. Now, Mike. now I'm looking. Well, I'm that's stalling right. Tom to look him up. Yeah, Christopher. <laughs> Cross songs yeah. uh, here in sailing. movie sailing. We're sailing. Into Arthur's the theme. Uh, Ride like the wind, of course. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in right. The, in the sixth grade talent bow, show, bow, 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 um, Lisa bow, Lisa Byron. Okay. Uh, very very cute young lady Ooh. lived a couple blocks up the street. She did a whole dance routine. I was the MC or one of the two hosts. No kidding. Of the uh, the sixth grade did talent show. Did you congratulate show. her properly backstage? I, I did not. I just, they were high five. Were high, yeah, five. high five. Yeah, elbow <laughs> bump. I, I don't think. I did, did people even high five then? Uh, Probably so. Yeah, I think we high fived so. in sports. Like in we the, did in the early eighties. Yeah, we were high fiving. Yeah. Anyway. And then when Top Gun came out, you had to do the bing uh-huh. bing. You know, yep. I still do that with my kids. Oh, <laughs> that other one. Think of Laura. That's yeah. like the song from uh, the General Hospital character. Right. Oh, that yeah, you'd you'd rec- you yeah, might I know, recognize yeah, it if I, you heard I, it. I mean, right. That's what I did during college. Is watch soap operas. Well, there you go. Yeah, but what else right. was I going to do knew? other than going to practice? I just don't know. Well, Christopher Cross, that's more on RJ than it's on us. Sometimes Good you job, and I go RJ. down the rabbit hole Good job. of weirdness. Um, you see, speaking of rabbit hole of weirdness, Uh-oh. right? There we go. Some uh, I feel like there's some oddball things we need to clean up on this Friday. So let's okay, just get let's, to these, yeah. these random stories. You okay? know what? The best way to do it, head on. Head, head on. on. Here, we go. Head on. Here we go. Okay. John M. Brown is apparently a thief. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand people, right? Like, I guess if you're a thief, you see a target of opportunity. If you're like, that's your nature. You're a person who steals things, yep. right? And, and, like, there are people that it's are a great thieves. profession. Well, I mean, there are people that <laughs> that's what caught. they do. Like, they steal things. They, yep. they that may not be their their main thing, but they yep. are they're thieves. And if they have a chance, and, and you leave something around, yep. they'll take it. Yep. They'll try to sell it. They'll try to. Pro- and I would think, you know, like a person like that, are you just gonna grab anything randomly? Maybe you will. Right, so this guy okay. uh, is from Kansas City. Was at the Chiefs Dolphins playoff game, okay? okay. And he comes across uh, a truck um, uh, somewhere with Dolphins equipment on it, and so he just starts grabbing stuff because it's unattended. And he took um, media equipment. I'm guessing iPads, stuff like that, yeah. maybe mm-hmm. football pads. What are you going to do with football High school pads? kids. You can I guess, but what are you, are you going to sell it to the high school? Hey, <laughs> hey, uh, Put he's going to off the Miami Dolphins me? truck. You right? think he had those kind of altruistic ideas? I, I just, I'm giving right? this to so, the high so school. He, he steals gloves, shoes, and game film. Okay. I mean, game film, uh-huh. right? Like, it's not really valuable. You can't really – who are you going to sell it to? To the opposing teams they play. Okay. Maybe you're a spy well, apparently, for them. May, maybe yeah. Maybe then uh, <laughs> that he should have stolen Kansas City's and sold it to Miami because right. Kansas City did just fine. Anyway, he get, buys all this stuff that uh, most of it sounds like stuff you can't really do anything yeah. with. You're in Kansas City. You've got some Miami Dolphin branded yeah. gloves. It's not diamonds. No, right, like, like you can you find mean? the black market for diamonds. You've got to take your yeah. diamonds to Canada, <laughs> and they're going to want your diamonds, yeah. I guess. But anyways, $46,000 worth of stuff. Wow. And here's the thing about it. And you think someone who is a thief, and apparently he is, right? It's not just that he's a law-abiding citizen. He was too tempted. He was convicted of felony theft and unlawful tampering in 2021. Mm. Uh, he was under surveillance as a potential suspect in a string of thefts before this, okay? What is everywhere now? There are video cameras everywhere yes. right. you go. You right. think in, at an NFL stadium, you're not on camera? Right. Like, practically every moment you're yeah. on that property? Well, thieves are like <laughs> addicts. They don't think. I guess, right? So he just, like, thing. He, somehow he there was a truck. Maybe it must have been in the parking lot because he pulled his pickup truck up. Mm-hmm. And just started moving all the stuff. They're like, oh, let's, let's go yeah. to the film. 
And there he is on the film, right. and there's this yeah. truck, and they identify him. Here's and this guy yeah. we're investigating for all these. Oh, that's Larry. That's Larry, the known yeah. thief. Right. The known <laughs> thief. Like, and, uh, and if okay. we didn't know it was Larry, oh there's gosh. his license plate <laughs> yeah, right, right there. Like, And so they went to his house, duh, and uh, where they find found, guess what, a pile of burned stuff. That burned? Because no what is he going to do with stuff that says Miami Dolphins Printed all over it, and yeah. Miami is missing all this stuff. Where, yeah. What are you going to do with that? Who's going to give you anything for that? I don't know. It's like the know. lamest version of the Joker ever. Right? <laughs> just steals a bunch of stuff Chaos. nobody wants and burns it. It's and like, burns it just for the hell of it. I don't yeah. know. It just, it, like yeah. that, I, 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 the whole idea of being a thief, first of all, yeah. is just, but I, we know they exist, right? I'm not, I'm yeah. not naive. They're Should not get caught. there. Well, right. Number one, it's, it, right? don't get caught. But that's that's what I'm saying. Here's a guy. Like, I guess I don't understand the mindset of someone who's been caught, been convicted. Just I'm gonna just keep yeah. doing this stuff, and and it's gonna be that know. whole cycle of in and out of jail. Maybe he thought he They're could do eBay or something. chasing the same rush they got the first time they did it. I, I like, that's know. the Are only they? explanation I could think I of for they doing something that dumb. Shut out the money. copper of AC units and sell the copper for Well, yeah, for but you drugs. can. They're you addicts. Can, they know why they're doing they're it. Addicts, they're addicts, right? They're like yeah. addicts. I guess, but like, like but that's copper. That's the chasing the high. If you're not afraid yeah. you can to sell thieve copper. out of that or steal out of that, in, you know what I mean? Like, you're not afraid in the wide open to just start unloading stuff. You've got a problem. <laughs> I agree. I agree with you. And well, apparently he's got a problem he's a uh, here. Uh, it said uh, the the officer, one of the officers who executed the search warrant. I observed a Miami Dolphins logo and a ruminant of what appeared to be the word video <laughs> that had been partially burned, and uh, a whole bunch of cold weather gear that was in ashes and or on the ground, like yeah. What, again, you stole all this stuff and got no mark. You got nothing. You just, that's that's the point. Like I get it. If you go, you somebody it goes, burn it. hey, yeah. you know, uh, I, can you get me, you know, ten Miami Dolphin starter jackets? I don't know if starter even does jackets. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? But uh, that's I don't know. Yeah. This seemed kind maybe of. He thought he could move it, and then he found out that they found out, and then he started burning it to get rid of the evidence. Or maybe I don't, think I don't he know. ever thought he could move it. I, I think he stole it to burn it. I think I think just he, to burn it. I think he stole it to steal it, then had to it. Was screw like, with what the am dolphins. I gonna do with it? Maybe. Uh, right. I think he just stole right. it like thinking I'm just gonna grab stuff. I'm not gonna yeah. think, throw it in the truck, I'll find yeah. out if there's anything I'm doing valuable. Doing the team a solid, when I get man. Home. <laughs> Maybe. I'm uh, a real fan. We're all playing for the Chiefs today. Well apparently I mean look, well, you got the one su- Kansas City Chiefs super fan. Uh, who right. always dressed up like the wolf, yeah. who's a bank robber, yeah, right. right? And then you've got the other ones now who are, are charged with murder at their, yeah. at their right parade. at the parade. So, and uh, I do recall um, Mahomes' wife uh, tweeting about <laughs> yeah. how classless Jaguar fans were when oh. they visited their city. Yeah. But, you know, I guess it's all right that <laughs> you're out here stealing from the opponents, uh, robbing banks, and You know, no disrespect people. to any of the – Players' wives, but we don't really pay attention to what you have to say. <laughs> Unless you're doing some good charity work or something, just whatever. Say what you want, but it doesn't resonate for the most part. I, I don't doubt that. All right, uh, let's uh, come back here and look at the, the NFL uh, with the owners' meetings, uh, what is expected to get pushed forward in terms yeah. of rules changes yeah. and not get uh, nominated for rules changes this offseason. We'll look at some of that stuff, and we'll go through some of the questions of the week with Tom McManus on the Jaguar front. If you want to be in, 641-1010 is the easiest way to do it on the All-Pro Roofing phone lines. Your question of the day, who is the best addition the Jags have made to the team so far this offseason? Armstead, Davis, Morse, or Nielsen are your candidates, and if you think it's somebody not listed, you can hit us up with a reply and tell us who you think that is. This is Jaguars Today on 1010XL and 92.5 FM. Jaguars Today Friday is brought to you by CSS Fireplaces and Outdoor Living from the JOI Studios at 1010XL, where the pros go. This is Duval. Duval. This is Jacksonville Sports Radio, 1010XL. What makes a Honda certified pre-owned vehicle so special? 182-point inspection, 24-7 roadside assistance, first-year free oil changes, and a seven-year, 100,000-mile warranty for carefree driving back by American Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today. Denny Thompson here. Tackle burglars and protect your turf. Give yourself peace of mind catching everything around your home with Tyson Sound Security's cutting-edge surveillance cameras. 
For safety and convenience, Tyson has you covered for all home cameras and security systems. I'm talking HD recording, night vision, and remote alerts all from your phone or computer. Call Tyson Sound and Security right now at 904-762-1000. Tyson Sound and Security, security and automation experts. Dash is not only your Jaguars game day stop, but a great place to grab a meal any day of the week. To honor the Jags and the fans, we've crafted the Duval Sub. The Duval comes with freshly sliced turkey, ham, melted cheddar, and habanero jack cheese topped with crisp lettuce, fresh tomatoes, and a double portion of our secret sauce, all served on a fresh roll. Come by your local's Daily's Dash today to get your delicious Duval Sub. Daily's is the official convenience store sponsor of the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute is now offering online scheduling for new patient appointments for all of their positions. Simply schedule your appointment on your cell phone, tablet, or desktop. JOI is the first orthopedic practice in North Florida to offer this feature to patients. To schedule your appointment online, visit JOI.net and click on the button at the top of the page. If you'll be using insurance, be sure and have your information handy. JOI, where the pros go. Learn a little more about your team's freshest faces. I think we're a contender right now. Free agency profiles are brought to you by Universal Roof and Contracting. Experience the universal difference. Follow the offseason with Tire Outlet and 1010XL. This is Hayes Carline for First Florida Credit Union. I bank with First Florida Credit Union because I trust them. I can always count on them when it comes to the vast services they provide. First Florida Credit Union was voted Best Bank in the 2023 Best of Bold City Community Choice Awards, and it's easy to see why. I go to the branch off 210 in St. Johns County and the new Durban location, but they have 10 branches in the Jacksonville area. You need to be banking with First Florida Credit Union. They're enriching people every day. Federally insured by NCUA, equal housing opportunity lender. Your cooling system isn't working. Maybe somebody showed up with a portable electronic device. Then they discussed with you what your options are. Maybe they gave you an estimate that seems like an awful lot of money. What's the smart thing to do? When the situation merits a second opinion, get a Mike Merritt opinion. Yes, the Mike Merritt comfort team shows up with hand tools. We've never been able to fix an air conditioning problem with a tablet. Mike Merritt has been the trusted name for more than 30 years because there's never any hocus pocus. The Merit team will walk you through the diagnostic steps up close and personal and show you exactly what you need. And the Mike Merit price is likely to be far less because there's never an overtime charge and the Merit team doesn't work on commission. So remember, when it comes to the health of your cooling system, a second opinion can only help and a Mike Merit opinion can save you money. Florida license CACO 50384. What airline is now allowing their male pilots to wear makeup, paint their nails, and carry handbags? When you call Southern Oak and file a claim, you'll be handled by our hand-picked vendors who will analyze any roof, storm, or water damage. It'll save money for you. Our family protecting yours, Southern Oak Insurance. British Airways has introduced new uniform policies, allowing their male pilots to wear makeup, paint their nails, and carry a purse. Southern Oak Insurance, our family protecting yours. This is Hayes Carlion for Skylight Elite. Have you ever thought about aircraft ownership as another potential revenue stream and as a tool for tax savings? Put your tax money to work for you while enjoying the benefits of private personal travel. Skylife Elite has over a decade of experience in business aviation and can guide you through the process with their expert staff. Call my friends over at Skylife Elite at 490-9332 or find them at flyskylife.com to get the rundown on everything owning an airplane can do for you. Get Gators play-by-play on 1010XL. Brought to you by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. And Renewal by Anderson, the official window and door replacement partner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. The 2024 NFL season is approaching fast, and the Jaguars are celebrating their 30th season. Be at the bank for all the big plays and big moments of this milestone year by locking in your season tickets now. With packages for every budget and exclusive perks throughout the season, there's no better time to become a season ticket member. Be at the bank for every touchdown and secure your seats by going to jaguars.com slash tickets or call 904-633-2000 today. We'll see you at the bank. 
This NFL free agency profile is brought to you by Universal Roof and Contracting. Experience the universal difference. Jacksonville's secondary seems to be getting better already. Safety Darnell Savage is a former first-rounder who played like a tank on the frozen tundra in Green Bay while showing he has a nose for the football. A two-time All-Big Ten defensive back at Maryland, Savage's speed and skill set will be in demand in Duval. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Tom McManus. Brought to you by Renewal by Anderson. A better way to a better window on 1010XL. All right, Pocket's got a rare day off around these parts. Cool. He told me what he was doing. I can't remember. <laughs> golfing maybe? Or nah, he's, go- he's golfing the next couple days if the weather yeah. cooperates. Supposed to be all right on Sunday. Yeah. I have played in like a month. Took some time off. The swing was, yeah. was aggravating. I'm playing uh, at a, for a tournament for St. Vincent's Mobile. I'm speaking at the dinner, and I'm playing at TPC the next day. Nice. I haven't swung my clubs in like forever. <laughs> I like literally. I mean, they're they're out of storage, which is a good thing. So they went from storage to the garage. So they're they're in. It's a good step. Like, step yeah. in the right direction. I think so. Yeah. I think so. So probably need them available if you're going to play. 1990s baby clubs. Look out. Have you? you hit uh, them. How often have you played the stadium course? A lot. Yeah. How I mean, you, how have you fared on the 17? Terrible. Yeah. You ever uh, have you put it on the green? After a few tries, sure, but not ever on the not first shot. Not on the try. first shot? All no. Right. I'm not that good. I, I'm I just really asking. don't. Every time I'm out there, and I'm not out there hardly anymore, but I used to, like, you know, just with tournaments and whatnot, played there with uh, friends a couple times. I'm just like, I don't deserve to be out here. Like, this is like a travesty. Bro. Because I'm, it's, you know, I'm that bad. I took a peak. That's how I feel. Right now. Yeah. Peak season. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. My ball's doing the water. What what do you think? (laughs) I don't care what it looks like. If you're just random Joe Schmo and you want to go play TPC right now, stadium course, what does it cost? What does it cost? What do you think it costs? 500 maybe? 650. Yeah, I would say I'm not good enough. (laughs) And I don't have that money. Beautiful course, people. If I was good enough and I had that money, I'd, hell yeah. Well, yeah, if you had that money, I mean, if you're a millionaire, you're a, you know what I mean? Like if you're rolling in it. And six fifty means nothing to you. It's a big deal, right? right. If you're an average working person, six fifty is a lot of money a lot to play, of play a round golf. of golf. No doubt. Honestly, I agree. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like the scenery doesn't matter to me because my balls go in the water and the ro- they're, they're all over. I'd, the place. I'd pay that to play one place, St. Andrews. That's I don't know what it costs to play St. Andrews. Is that the one that has no boundaries? Maybe I would be better off there. <laughs> Not many. Like it's, you could knock into the other fairways and stuff. Yeah. See, I like playing golf. the other fairways on my Absolutely. Ball. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Just gotta worry about the trees in between. I do it for the history. Uh anyway. Yeah. Uh all right, let's go back through some of the questions we posed to Jaguar Fandom this week and get your thoughts on them. By the way, how's the podcast rolling? Podcast is doing great. Thanks Good. for asking. I'm going to actually get, jump into the uh, studio after the show. Nice. What, uh, what's the focus today? Uh, we'll look at the draft a little bit, just take a look around the NFL and talk heavy Jags. Um, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about the tackle position, Mike. Well, I'm almost of the I, – I, I don't know, man. I feel like – I wouldn't hate it. We're running it back again with the same – didn't didn't we kind of learn our lesson on that? And, I look, if you can guarantee me – You're talking healthy, about the offensive line. Our offensive line. A healthy cam – I would definitely love for him to be here for another year. Okay, That's well, you, fine. you can't guarantee it anyway. No, right? I know, but he's, he's you know. I understand, but some uh, you could draft a guy in the first round and he could I know. pull a hamstring in training camp, right? So I know. Uh, I think from their perspective, and I'm not trying to sell you yep. because you could feel however you like. I feel like they upgraded at center, which was the biggest weak spot, right? Do you agree or disagree that they upgraded at center? Center and guards were center. I mean, I'm the, just specifically center. Yes or no? Did they upgrade at center? They did. Opinion? Okay, but the guards didn't play well last year. Okay, for the record, Ezra Cleveland, they're gonna feel came in hurt when they acquired him. Got yeah. hurt. They never got the full Ezra Cleveland experience. This is a guy when they traded for him, they right. traded with the idea that they're gonna extend him. Right, and you know, so they see something in him. And they think. His best football is still in front of him. I, again, I'm giving you which the company great, line here. Which would be t- awesome. I'd love to see that. Okay. And and so those two, Anton, you feel pretty good about, right? I feel real good about it. You Anton. feel pretty good about Cam if he's, if healthy. he's healthy. Okay. Then, so you got Sheriff left, who I think what they're thinking is 
Give us one more good year. Give us one more year. At yeah. least bridge us to Cooper Hodges till we can find out, do we have an, a cheap yeah. answer at one guard spot already on the roster, or are we going to have to go address that right. as well? So I, I hear what you're saying. From the outside, oh, switch one guy. But I don't think that in their head that's how they feel well, about look, it. Well, look, the O-line two years ago played very well. They did. Yeah. They were one of the top offensive lines in the game, top five, seven, eight, somewhere around there. I think that's that's fair. And then last year they kind of fell off the edge. Now, you know, but so did other positions as well. You know, they didn't play as well as they needed to either. Um, so, again, I feel like you're kind of running it back again, which, hey, if it works, I'm all for it. But I got to believe it to see it. You know, I is Scherf going to give us a, a Pro Bowl year or close to it? You know, is Ezra going to be that nasty guard that we've been dying to have? I, I hope that's all true. Morris, look, I think he's – I. Be, I don't think. I know he's an upgrade, so that's definitely going to help the interior. Um, but I got. I'm to the point now where I gotta. I gotta see it. You know what I mean? I gotta all the the hype, the talk, whatever. I I'm not believing it till I see it. I I've, I've been down that road all right. before. Well, that being said, let's go through some of the questions we posed this week. All let's right. Do it. Uh, first week of free agency in the books. Now we asked this before Travis. I'm gonna change my whole podcast. Signed. No, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> um, which. Position or area of the team you think the Jags still need the most help at right now? The options we gave okay. are corner, offensive line, pass rush. That's not a specific position, but yep. just pass rush and wide receiver. What needs the most help right now? Most help? Yeah. What, what I'd like what, to see. What position do they still need the most help at? Yeah. Corner, offensive line, pass rush, and wide receiver. And the answer is? I'm going to say <laughs> corner. Corner, okay? That's what I would say, too. I'm going to say corner. I still want another old lineman, but, you know, whatever. We'll, well see how that Well, that's out. the thing. You can only pick one thing, yeah, but right? I, I think we need – we need you handled the, the – you know, with Armstead, that huge signing, that'll help your your uh, your outside guys. I know they like to play press. Get me a, a press corner. I'd be happy with that. Right, and, and it's interesting because Nielsen said, oh, you think we play man? Good. I'm glad you think that. You know, and but I do think all his players are saying man. By well, the way. It, it's, like I came here because we play man. It okay. sounds like zone with man cons. It sounds it's, like yeah. the, the corners yeah. are, are are not just going to be sagging off. You're going to have to be willing to press. It's like yeah. cover two press. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it will feel like man. But right it's for the two. for the corners, it will right. Yeah. But it's you know anyway. That's that's I think corners absolutely in play. Here's the thing though. You sit here and go, well, if we go like RJ asks us on the break, yeah. what do you what do you feel about Ricky Pearsall like? You know, yep. the bulky didn't go to the Gator Pro Day because yeah, Pearsall was not going to be working out. So, right. that would be an indicator that they're really interested in exploring Pearsall, who would more likely be a second-round pick than a first-round pick. Sure. And RJ said, hey, is he really that number one you're looking for? Well, maybe not, but, okay, where are you going to get the number one? Maybe with the 17th pick. Okay, great. Right. What are you doing in a corner now? Right. Are you, do you have a, can you get a, a starter at 48? Maybe. Okay, yep. now what are you doing on offensive line? What, what are you doing to pass? What like right. is pass rush off the board? If Jared Verse is sitting there, should we at least consider him? Right, right. So oh, right, right. You got one pick right. there that that you feel like you're going to get a surefire needs to walk in as a starter. I feel like the 48 pick should be pushing in that realm as well. Right. Yep. That that unless you're drafting somebody specifically as depth, which. Yep. I don't think we have that luxury, no. um, you know. But beyond that, you, you, so there, there's two premium picks to get a guy that you're confident can be a starter. We got more right. holes than two. Yeah, you know? yeah. I I look at Pearsall. He's he's a great uh, athlete. I look at more in the Kirk kind of fashion, like as a slot. So, yeah, I think a lot uh, of people do. I you know look, he would uh, he would upgrade Parker, I guess, in that regard, maybe. Um, based well, on they, his... And they might feel maybe he can do both, that he and Kirk are a little interchangeable, that they could both yeah. play outside and inside. Yeah. Well, in Kirk's first year here, yeah. he was asked to play outside a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he, he was can... good. Yeah, yeah. You know, doing that kind of thing. And, look, I get it. You look at Pearsall and you think that's a slot receiver. Like, that's the yeah. picture you have in your head is that's a slot receiver. Right. I don't think he necessarily has to be limited to just being a slot receiver. Like, Agreed. I do think you can see – the potential for him to be more well, than that, and that's why you take him in the second round. Look at what the Rams do with their guys, right? I'm sure when Cooper Cup came out, we were probably thinking slot, right? The, the kid out of uh, BYU, Piku, Niku, what's his name? Puka Nikua. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm 
Uh, Mike hates. My, I like you do cut me some slack, but I don't study the, the pronunciation. Piku Niku, I wasn't quite sure right I'm away. I'm sorry, but, no, but the kid's right. phenomenal. But you weren't thinking because he performed. I mean, you put their stats up over the years, right? Yeah. You can hey, say he, was, he played like a top one. ten receiver, right. Puka Nakua. Yeah, you can say he's a number one, but maybe when they drafted him, they didn't know no. that. You know what I mean? So who knows? I'm not saying Pearsall is 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 those two guys, but you know who knows? I do love the uh, the thing. I guess it was during the playoffs. Somebody made the comment. Um, I think I brought it up with Tony before that, um, and you probably heard it yourself if you're watching the playoff games that Nakua looked like, eh, you know, fifth round pick, yeah. and then they put the pads on, and they're like, oh my god. Yeah. Nobody can stop him getting to where he wants to Look go. Look at like, what we've done. You, yeah. Right. You yeah. couldn't, like, yeah. all, once the pads were on and he could right. lean on you, it was over. That right. you couldn't, there was not a corner on the team that could handle the guy. Yeah. And here's, you what know. find. How do you, like, should that show up on film more? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, I'm sure he that showed up on film and you're, I guess you're going, ah, who's he going against? I don't know. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, some guys are just gamers. You know when they put when the when the lights go on and the full speed you you just show up. You know it's like it's like the guy in the weight room that's not very strong in the weight room and you're like, man, he ain't that strong. And then you get out in the field and you can't get his ass off you because his grip strength he's just wiry and he's you know strong and tough. You know it's kind of like that. Like you don't know what you're gonna get until yeah. it's real. You yeah. know, I mean, everyone looks pretty in shorts, don't they? You know, everyone, even seven on seven. Classic Tom McManus quote yeah, yeah, right. from way back yeah, in the day. TNA's a better one. Everybody but, uh, looks good in just <laughs> some. No, some guys look good in just shorts. That was the quote back in the day. Oh my god, TNA was better. It was. It really me. was, and that, cause that was organic, man. That really was the TNA quote. The tackles and assists. The tackles it's and assists. I'm baby. all about the TNA. It's all about the TNA. All right, uh, Tommy. Uh, so. Despite the fact you said corner, like I say corner to that okay. question as well. Mm-hmm. Then on Tuesday we did our top five wish list for the 17th pick based on right now. Like guys that you think have a chance to be there. We don't, all right, we want Marvin Harrison Jr. He's not right, likely right, to right, be there at right. 17. So out of guys you think have a chance to be there, it doesn't have to be corner. My top guy was Brian Thomas Jr. because I feel like he can project to be a number one top of the depth chart guy. I'm not sure if I'm getting that. Yep. At 48. So, if he's there, I'm very intrigued. Then, the net, the two corners, and I had a couple of offensive linemen. Who are you hoping is there at 17? I, I want to see, uh, and I'm going to let you do their names. Cause you're, <laughs> you're at, um But the two, the one kid from Washington, uh-huh. uh, I think he's, they say he can play every position. At, uh, and Bat- dominate. Otano. And dominate at every position. Yeah. That's a special kind of player. Um and then the kid from, I think he's Oregon State, uh, Fuanga. Yeah, Fuanga. Fuanga, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Fuanga. He uh, he looks like. So if a tackle's there, now again, this is what am I doing with, with Cam? What am I doing with the position? Trade him? Right. You may trade him. You may let him. Whatever. Who knows? I have no idea what happens to that. But th- those two guys, uh, I saw, I was telling Tony, I saw a mock this morning where Denver and Jacksonville traded picks in the first round, and Jags grabbed the kid from Toledo. Ah, uh, Quinion Mitchell, the yeah. I, I've I don't seen, know if that's going I don't know if it's the same mock, but I've seen a mock, or I've seen multiple mocks now where the Jags trade up for that play. Wow. Yeah, so that would be a nice I upgrade. mean, it's a fit, yeah. you know, and but really you look at it, and we talked about this with Demetrius Harvey yesterday a little bit. Those top guys, I mean, usually the top corners come off the board. The yeah. Top one or two might even be in the top ten, right? right? No, but no, this no. year, with so many quarterbacks and at least a trio of wide receivers going yep. Yep. and some pass rush yep. that's going and to go. And, and going to some of the old linemen, right, with It'll Joe Alt and, and uh, you know, the, the Penn State guy, uh, Ola uh, Fashanu, right? I, I, I got that one right. <laughs> or we're both doing it wrong, <laughs> which is possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, seriously, yeah. you start adding, all right, four quarterbacks minimum, right, in the top 16, wouldn't you say at this yeah, point? Yeah, I think so. Minimum, yeah, right? So four. So. Yeah. Three receivers, the big three, yeah. minimum. That yep. gets you to seven guys, all right? Yep. Alt, Fashanu. Yep. Um, and maybe uh, one of the guys I just mentioned. Maybe one of the guys you just mentioned gets you to there. 10. Maybe Mims, enough. maybe. M- another, let's, say, let's say a He's couple a of the guys, right? Because oh. it could be Mims. It could be It could be one, you know, it could be a couple of the guys you mentioned. Right. Well, let's say four offensive linemen. Right. And remember, every year there's a runoff. 
at a position. Sure. Someone gets a tackle. Oh, I got to get the next well, tackle. Well, oh, Dal- I got to get Dallas Turner's next. going. Yep. Pass yep. rusher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jared Verse could easily go. Could. Right? That gets you to 13 yep. guys right now. Uh, chop. Um, could Chop be could. He could. Or Latou, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the UCLA workout. guy. Oh, right? So maybe that gets you to 14 guys. Yep. Uh, maybe Byron Murphy gets you to 15 guys. Yep. If those guys all go, then you're guaranteed one of the top two corners. Right. On the board, yep. at worst, yep. you know. Now it probably doesn't go exactly that way. Yeah, but yeah, that's where the run thing comes in, right, yeah. Tommy? It's oh, the right. if someone decides the first corner comes off the board at twelve, then do we what need happens? to get a corner now. Or, right. or, but right. do they also go? Hey, there goes all. There goes Fashanu. There goes Fuanga. Three tackles right, right there, do we need and we're at the ta- pick yeah. 11, ten or eleven. Right then maybe the tackles are the ones you right. get a run on. But it's what I like about the position the Jags are in. Yeah. Because whatever that run happens to be, I don't think it hurts the Jags all that much. Because if the run comes at corner, which I do think is the one that you can circle the most, yep. right, for the Jags at 17 at this point in the process. But if the run came at corner, it's like, all right, we get the best offensive lineman right. still available to us, or we get the best edge rusher or yeah. receiver. Okay, like any of those spots they hit, and it works with all four of those spots, yeah. right? Right. Like if the run happens at X, we're okay with Y. Right. You know, like the Jags are in a position where they don't, have to feel like we got to press to go make something happen. Which they, don't they did have a to. great job of free agency. That's what you're supposed to do with free agency. Now you don't like we fill the holes, yeah. have right. viable have players. To. If they, they trade, to. it's because they're targeting a guy yep. at a specific price. This is the guy we want most in this draft. Yeah, right. Like they're yep. telling you because of everything else they've done. It makes me feel really comfortable with that position if that's what they wind up doing. Yeah, well, I agree. They, and I they agree. look, they may love Cooper DeGene. Right. right. They, oh, they right. may love Kool Aid right. McKinstry. They yeah. may love any number of corners. Right. Um, like I don't like Nate Wiggins. Nate Wiggins could easily go in the top fifteen. He could so. Sure. Right. Could, so if, if that's the case, anybody that goes that you're yeah. not expecting, you know, right. Johnny Newton could go in the top uh, fifteen, sixteen yeah. picks out of we, Illinois. Yeah, we defensive tackles. Are we. Yeah, Byron Murphy, Johnny right, Newton. Okay. Th- those, those are the guys. those are the right. two right, guys right, right, primarily. Right. Texas and uh, I wouldn't. To me, Illinois. that's not a good use of the seventeenth pick. You, you filled it with Eric. You filled it with, You're good. with Armstead, and you You're got good. so much money tied yeah. up in that group, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're you know, good. Um, You're but good I did him. see a mock that had him going Bautanu in the first round, oh, man. Um, Braden Fisk, the Florida State oh, defensive tackle in round two, it. and then coming back and going interior offensive line in round three. This yep. was uh, Will Brinson, I think, put I this like out. It. I uh, loved it. And, yep. and it's like, but no corner, no wide receiver. No right. pass rush, real. I mean, Fisk no, is a right. defensive tackle. Right. I tell you now, it's you know, look, you 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 see these clips on you know Twitter or whatever online, and it's highlights. But I did watch a few of Fisk, and and let me that kid is so athletic, and his motor, he was chasing down backs like crazy, crazy strong man. Yeah. He, I like the way he. Brings and, well, the, the, the attitude. Is, you, you go in to the process, and like in January, he's. Right is like a fifth rounder. Yeah, right. Right, right. and right. now you see. I've seen mocks with him in the late first. You know, he, his um, workout certainly in the second. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it's funny because you thought, all right, Florida State provides a guy the Jags are going to take. Keon Coleman is the obvious yeah. choice here. Well, maybe not. You know, right, uh, right. Um, Florida State having their pro day today. Okay. Uh, by the I way, I like Coleman a lot. I like him I too. Do. He's not a burner, it's but. Okay. You know, I don't think you have to be. You I think he's Mike Williams type. You know, I think he, I think he's a Mike Williams type. Like Mike Williams, probably a little faster in the time speed. You know, when he's healthy, the yeah. the now uh, Jet. Jets Mike yeah. Williams. Yep. Yeah. Um, but he's got a lot of shake though, man. He's he's got a lot of shake in that open field. At oh, least from what I watched. Is Mike Williams is he that? Yeah, I, I think I, he, was more I think he does. But I think what they both can do is they can make catches with guys hanging all over. Yeah. You know, yep. and uh, they got they got those plucky hands snatching the ball. Yep. Uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah. uh, again, well, you, you know, you get very one. Uh, now, if they do trade down from seventeen, yep. and they could slide down and pick up a couple of other picks, even something like in the third yep. round. Yeah. Now you're talking. Okay, we can significantly fill some of these. Spots. Is there a pick, and maybe not a specific guy, but position where you'd scratch your head at seventeen? Yes. What? Um, D tackle. I would a little bit, but at least I'd understand the value of the position. Like, yeah. like inside linebacker. Come on, 
Okay. Right. Fair, I mean, they, they, fair, right. Fair, fair, fair. Safety. Yeah. Not gonna, you know. Right. Not gonna go down that road. Depends on how you feel about it, but Bowers. I, I yeah, the tight end, right? I would be yeah, yeah, or whatever skeptical be. if yeah. they go that route. I would. And look, if they did, it would be exciting. They're leaning into something offensively, and yeah. you could say, okay, we're not going to have, you know, uh, three great receivers, you know, no, you know, with apologies to Zay and whatever. We're going to wind up with Kirk and Gabe Davis a lot, but yeah. we're going to have Ingram and Bowers on the field all the time yeah. together and ETN in the backfield. I mean, yeah. that's a good group of yeah. weapons overall, yeah. but yeah. I, I don't think it's the best use of You know, it's funny with Zay, man. I mean, it, the injuries obviously affected last year, but going into the year, we all <laughs> – we, he looks really good. He had a really good I first mean, year he here. Looked, right. He and he looked like fantastic he, in the offseason. He yeah. did. The like, injuries yeah. kind of caught up. There's another guy, though, in Bowers. Easily could go top 16. No, right. And there's – Pushing down another corner or offensive mm-hmm. lineman to you. So, I mean. Would center? What if they grab that kid to center? Would that scratch I would, your it head? It would surprise that me. That would scratch my head. I'd be like, whoa. Like, it would surprise me because, like, okay, what is he playing this year? Is he going to beat out Sheriff and play guard this year? I don't think you're signing Morse uh, to, to bring no, in a rookie to no. compete with him. I, I totally agree. You know, and, yeah. and people can say, well, that's that short sighted. He could be your guy for the next 10 years. Okay. Yeah. He, maybe, or or met next year we'll find a center in round three, maybe or Cooper round five. Play center. Maybe Cooper Hodges. I mean, he is athletic as can be, man. I don't know. Maybe he can. I and the thing is, people are gonna you know, there are gonna be some people at the offensive line struggle. Well, what do you expect? They basically ran it back. I, I don't feel like they ha- in their mind they're not running it back, and they're not done yet. We don't know. Let's see what happens during the NFL draft all, to see Ezra if this thing gets changed through. With an injury, got it. Correct. You know, so that's case. Still that's how I'm new. saying. Like, him and I think they look at additions. that like that's yeah. a new piece, new addition, two two pieces with him and Morse. You know. Well, if it's if it is two pieces, and you restructured Sheriff, and you know that Sheriff's probably on his last year here, but you've got a young guy behind him that might be the answer, but he hasn't right. played. I think it might be a smart move to have that vet around, and then if Cooper yeah. Hodges just comes and balls yeah. out, yeah. he'll take that spot, man. Right. Right. You know, anyway, yeah. um, we got to take a break here. Uh, about halfway through some of the uh, options from the week that was with Tom McManus. We'll get into his thoughts on potentially trading for a big name wide receiver and uh, how might they acquire some wide receiver help. That was our poll question yesterday. Second round pick was the overwhelming top option uh, for folks if they do add another wide receiver. That's where they think uh, they will get them with the current 48th selection in the draft. Halfway home. Today with Tony Smith and Tom McManus, along with R.J. Saunders, in for Dylan Denmark. I'm Mike Dempsey. You're listening to Jaguars Today on 1010XL and 92.5 FM. Jaguars Today Friday is brought to you by CSS Fireplaces and Outdoor Living from the JOI Studios at 1010XL, where the pros go. I love football. I love everything about it. I love Friday nights when you're looking for a win and Saturday morning when you found one. 1010XL. Here's Linda Beaver. Did you hear what's happening? Beaver Toyota and Beaver Chevrolet are screen cleaning. New inventory on the ground means we need to make more room. Take advantage of huge savings on thousands of vehicles priced to sell. New and pre-owned prices have been reduced and all sales associates have been instructed to give maximum value on all trades. But you better hurry, the best deals go first. Head to Beaver Toyota in St. Augustine. Or Beaver Chevrolet in Jacksonville to take advantage of our spring cleaning sale. We're here to wow you. Hello, this is Father Nicholas Lowe, and I want to talk to you about not looking at the rearview mirror of unforgiveness. It's so easy to keep looking in the past when someone has hurt or offended us. What we don't realize is that if we keep looking at the rearview mirror of anger, it will cause us to miss out on the good things that God has in store right in front of us. Friends, looking in the rearview mirror of the past will never give you peace in the present. For more inspiration, log on to stjohnthedivine.com. Bueller Air Conditioning presents Are You Cool? Today's lucky contestant, a cheese negotiator from Jacksonville, Florida, meet Margaret Drent. How do you like my costume, Bob? I'm Gruyere. Well, you smell great, Margaret. But here's your question. What's wrong with your air conditioner when you hear this sound? Oh, um, that's a toughie. Are you sure you don't want me to tell you the suggested retail price of a box of rice-a-roni? Five seconds, Margaret. Is it 
A compressor motor starter failure? That's right, Margaret. And if you call the coolness experts at Bueller Air Conditioning, we can fix that faulty AC to make sure that you are cool. Surprisingly stuffy inside a giant cheese. You sign the waiver, Margaret. Stay cooler with Bueller. Visit BuellerAir.com. Hey, it's Tony from Tony D's Pizza. If you love our pizza and pasta dishes, let us cater an event for you. Family function or office parties, we can deliver you an amazing Italian meal. Remember, it's not just pizza at Tony D's. Bay Meadows in two ninety five. dollars Have you tried golfing at the Improved Cimarron Golf Club? If you haven't, tell you what, you're missing out on the best deal in Jacksonville. Now, many of you have received a postcard in the mail, and of course, if you bring that with you, $45 plus tax to play. That includes a cart, lunch, and a beer at the brand new Stone Barrel Tap House. Now, go to the website, that is CimarronGolfClub.com, and sign up for the Wild One Loyalty Program. That's the Wild One Loyalty Program, and get all of these specials emailed to you from Cimarron. Home of the Jaguars, WJXL AM Jacksonville Beach, WJXL FM Jacksonville Beach. Electricians, innovators, and tech enthusiasts, listen up. Miller Electric is shaping the future, and we want you to be a part of it. From healthcare and data centers, corporate offices, aviation, and industrial facilities, Miller Electric is powering the most exciting projects in Jacksonville and beyond. We offer not just a job, but a thrilling career with great pay and incredible benefits. Visit us at MillerCareers.com to apply Miller Electric, where your skills meet our vision and equal opportunity employer. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Hey, it's Prosser here, and Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make that happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly with Loan Pronto's AI based system you can get approval in about 10 minutes with almost no documentation no appraisal and no hassle you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home use that money to pay off all your other loans the average homeowner saves over 850 dollars a month doing this listen your home value is way up you can use that to wipe out all those credit cards get some money for a home improvement literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips and approval is just minutes away so call now 904-999-1508 904-999-1508 that's loanpronto.com at 904-999-1508 nmls 1661781 subject to lender approval equal housing lender when it's time for the March Mania brackets to bust wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. <laughs> Bonus offers. And when the madness starts and Cinderella, <laughs> man steps under the... <laughs> BetUS always has your back with... <laughs> to back-to-back 125% sign-up bonuses on your first three deposits and even 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game... Join today. BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Hello, First Coast. I'm sure by now you have seen our bright green GFL trucks and containers throughout the greater Jacksonville area. We're an industry leader in solid waste and would love the opportunity to earn your business. We're committed to customer service, reliability, and have an unwavering focus on safety. Whether commercial or construction, let us haul your waste away. Call 904-760-5880 to get a quote today from GFL Green for Life. For the greenest, luscious lawn on the block, choose the local legends, Roundtree Sod. Don't just settle for ordinary. Let Roundtree Sod deliver you a picture-perfect lawn. To get a free estimate, call 7414-SOD. 7414-SOD. Hacker here, and you know something's starting to get really fun and kind of ridiculous, but in the best way possible. I'm talking about my weekly Awaken 180 weigh-in. This week, I was down another five pounds. That's right, 30 pounds lighter in just three weeks. Now, if that's not ridiculous, I don't know what is. It's something I could have never imagined happening, especially so quickly. I mean, those weight loss injections, they would have taken me a year to achieve what Awaken 180 has done in just three weeks. I can see the difference. I feel it. And yeah, people are beginning to notice too. Whether it's viewers on the Twitter broadcast, friends, co-workers, the change is unmistakable. Got questions? Shoot me a tweet. Or if you've been following along with Mike, Matt, and myself, make the call to Awaken 180. The results, they speak for themselves. Folks, they're real and they're absolutely life-changing. Call 844-346-1800. That's 844-346-1800. Or online at Awaken180WeightLoss.com. 
I'm Jeff Middlecoff with Trustline Mortgage. My business partners, Alan Tyre, Bill Pappas, and Ken Rimley have been helping first-time home buyers with their mortgage financing all over Florida for 34 years. First-time home buyers can get no or low down payments, anywhere from zero to three and a half percent down. As a first-time home buyer with Trustline Mortgage, you get added benefits for doing your loan with us, like lower rates on your mortgage insurance and lower closing costs. Oh, and did I forget to mention that Trustline gives first-time home buyers better mortgage interest rates? Here's the bottom line. Trustline Mortgage wants to help first-time home buyers accomplish your goal of home ownership. That's why Trustline Mortgage is offering the best first-time home buyer benefits around. Period. Trustline Mortgage delivers with no and low down payments, lower closing costs, and better interest rates. Call Trustline Mortgage today at 381 Loan. That's 381 Loan to find out how we can help you buy your dream home. Or visit our website at TrustlineMortgage.com. Trust your instincts and follow the line to Trustline Mortgage. Certain restrictions apply. See office for details. Trustline is an equal housing opportunity. MLS number 331480. Ready to spice up your Wednesday? Head to Players Grill for Wing Wednesday. Enjoy mouthwatering wings for just 75 cents each. Plus, make it a happy hour all day long. Cheers to unbeatable deals and good times. Players Grill, where the neighborhood meets. I'm R.J. Saunders with your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist Local Sports Update. Brought to you by Wing Stop. Jack Golke was the darling of the NCAA tournament in the first round with his 32-point performance against the Kentucky Wildcats. He would speak with the media following the victory. Obviously, we come in, we're the, the underdog by uh, all measures, but uh, you just got to, as a player, you can't think that way. You got to go out there and you got to think that you have the same talent level as them. I know they have draft picks, and I know I'm not going to the NBA, but uh, I know on any given night I can compete with those type of guys, and our team can compete with those type of guys. And that's why I was so confident going into it, and that's why I say we're not a Cinderella, because when we play our A game, we're, we can be the best team on the floor. The Florida Gators begin their quest in the NCAA tournament going up against the Colorado Buffaloes. 65 degrees at 11.08 time and temp. Brought to you by Bueller Air Conditioning. Stay cooler with Bueller. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Tom McManus. Brought to you by Renewal by Anderson. A better way to a better window on 1010XL. I couldn't tell if he was driving a car or... You think he was driving? I think he was trying to scratch a little record out there like a DJ. <laughs> you got to like go the, that well, way. Well, you got to kind of go, wick, 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 right you know, away. with the, the fingers right. going forward. Right hand turns. You were going, you're spinning around. <laughs> Although they do that, too. They'll, they'll spin it back. Yeah, you, you know, go. you got to spin it back yeah, to a certain yeah. point. <laughs> Uh, people, that's a talent, man. People no can doubt. spin records oh, yeah. and sync up beats like that. Absolutely, it's a pretty good profession. Yeah, no doubt. To be it, absolutely. Right? Yeah, Just ask DJ yeah. Pauly D. Oh, nice. Okay. Jersey Shore. Oh, is that? Yeah, I'm No, think. that's not him. Who is that? Yeah, Jersey Shore guy. Oh, yeah. the guy with the the hair that sits no, up yeah, tall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he does. Yeah. I believe. I didn't waste too many brain cells on that show. I didn't either, you know, and yeah. and I well, like I, I didn't watch it yeah. really when it was, I guess, in its formative stages. Right, you know, yeah, just right. now it's like Jersey Shore Family Vacation, Year yeah. Twenty Nine, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And I find myself when I come across it, yeah. stopping. And you going, watch it the What's same way you watch yeah. Jerry Springer. It's like, all right, right. A little bit of the train wreck. Back. A, car, right? they, train a lot wrecks, of them, yeah. they've calmed down so much that it's not as much of a train wreck mm-hmm. anymore. Yeah. You know, and that was a, a big appeal to it. Yeah. Hey, they're going to get drunk and go out and brawl. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll watch that, maybe. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's get a couple. Tony's going to take us around the league coming up in about 10 minutes. But a uh, couple of other things I wanted to run by you from the week. Okay. Here, Tom. I know you talked about this on your pod this week. Brandon Ayo yeah. got brought up. Um, you know, T. Higgins is out there. you got the Clemson connection with Trevor Lawrence. We need an alpha, right? I'm Apologies to Christian Kirk. I'd love to get a guy that makes Christian Kirk the clear two on this football team. Okay, co ones. Eh, all right, that's it, it. Was okay last year. If you had Ridley back with this group, I think it'd be a pretty good group. Okay, they clearly felt the same way because they were trying to get Ridley back. Gabe Davis told us when they signed him, "Hey, we're still working on Ridley. We want you to be a part of a wide receiver room that includes Calvin as well." So, me O'Brien then we've been. Yeah. investigating the story. Yep. Apparently, the, the price would be the 17th pick in the first round. Yep. It, it, and 
maybe you'd have to throw in Zay Jones, which to me matters not because we were all of the mind that if they signed Ridley last Wednesday, Zay was going to be a cap casualty, right? So if you had Ayuk, Kirk, Davis, I think most of us would be okay if Zay were not your fourth wide receiver. So for you, Tom, Mm. 17th pick in the draft, knowing that I've heard he wants 27 and a half, let's let's say it's $28 million a year, $5 million more than Calvin Ridley. But he is younger. Excellent blocker, yeah, great no, route runner, great, great. physical guy, is a 17 pick plus the contract you got to give Brandon Ayuk worth it for the Jags, in your opinion? Worth it? Yeah. Okay. Worth it. Would I do it? I don't know if I'd do it. Um, I don't know. I, it's, it's tough because I if there's a wide out there, and then listen, if, t, if you throw T in the mix, say we could get T. Who would you rather have? I think I'd rather have T Higgins. i Thought that too. Like, let me ask. I think you they're qu- pretty close. Let me ask you a question, and I know st- the stats don't show it, but can Gabe Davis not be our ex receiver? Can he be? I mean, he goes maybe, down the but field, I, I don't. He he scores sure, touchdowns. he does. Right, but does he? Why do we all of a sudden? He's not all of a sudden. Well, but he's is he going to be more of a Zay? Jones I mean, because he's been playing with he, a, a really good quarterback. Yeah, who's got a huge arm. Yeah, and he has put up big. Yards per catch numbers, but he hasn't put up huge reception totals. He's not a 1,000-yard no. receiver. Right. He's not but, a 900-yard receiver. And I understand Stephon yeah. Diggs is there yeah. as well. But, I mean, I think – His highest people, catches were 48. I looked – because I was, I was just wondering, like, I'm, I want to look at him. I, he can get down the field. He makes contested catches. Now, you hear Buffalo Bill fans say he's inconsistent. Like, sure. he'll disappear at times. I don't know if hey, they watch every That's game. what Evan Ingram's yep. knock was. True. When he arrived here, That's and last true. year he had the best catch percentage You're of any right. player in the league. Let me just all with I'm saying or more is, targets. if the fallback is he's your ex and you got a healthy Zay, can you can you? Live you with could. That? I mean, you look look. Did the Jags live with Kirk Zay and Marvin Jones as their top three guys and do pretty very well? well right, yep. they did fairly well. They did right. They so, did. is it possible? Yeah, but I I think like. Ayuk or T. Higgins changes the dynamic of how teams defense you. I don't think Gabe Davis does. Yeah, you got to respect the speed. Number two. I mean, he would he would be your Zay three. Jones and Zay would be – well, three to me is uh, the slot. I'm not talking production. Okay. You know what I mean? All right, I, see I don't what mean you're, who right. makes the highest catch. But in I mean, terms of right X, impact, Kirk's going to have a bigger impact, and then the, wouldn't you think? Yeah, overall. Okay, so it's – But a, he needs those outside guys to have that impact, in my opinion. He needs them to have – I mean, everyone would benefit from having of good course. players drawing attention away. But that was the intrigue on of getting Calvin back. Was it put Christian Kirk right in that spot where he could still, if they were in two wide receiver sets, be the guy outside opposite Calvin Ridley? But yeah. when they went to three every time, he's the slot. You can't cover him in open field one-on-one. I'm Nobody really has. No. Nobody's really shown that they can take down Captain Kirk in the middle of – or just in the – Middle of the formation, one on one. Yeah, I, mean, I think he's, he's a he talented enough player, Tommy. That if they asked him to play outside, he can do it. I agree with that. Right? Like, I, I think totally he can give you. That. I think he is among the best in the league out of the slot because of how difficult he is to cover in space. Right? Like yeah. it. It allows you to do more things with him. It's not because I don't want to see him on the outside. It's because I know he's special doing Thrives this. Thrives on you, especially with those that speed on the outside. Right, and so if you have – I think Zay gives you the ability, if he's the guy opposite, Gabe yeah. Davis, I think they still have the ability in three wide receiver sets to have – Kirk can be yeah. in the slot, yeah. you know, every time in that position. And I'm comfortable with him being on the outside. But I do think you add a guy – Top of the top of the depth chart guy, well, it gives every, you more flexibility. People with all slide that. down from that, yeah. right? I mean, it, it, that's what a, an Ayuk or a, a Higgins, or even if they kept Calvin, Calvin would be your. your that's guy, what he would right? give you. He'd be your yeah. ex. Uh, and again, I I know I I. By the way, when you see wide receiver one, wide receiver two, wide receiver three, is it production or where what position they play? Because I look at it more. Uh, position I look at it play. as. Production, like I okay, look at, like a one is is almost always going to be your ex receiver, should be. right, it, right, and but should. he and he's clearly like he does it all, right. right. He can go deep. I th- I right. feel go to guy, not not the case necessarily with every single guy, yeah, but no. slot receivers are sometimes limited, right? They they aren't that they're oftentimes a smaller bodied guy, right? They don't do contested catches as well. They're 
They, they the rely speed. They more the quickness. on quickness yeah. more than speed. Yeah, true. right. And, and not Fair. that they can't be fast. No, I and know. You can be all this. So I think different types of players can thrive in the slot, right? Yeah. And I mean, you you know, you get a great all around play. You can play Justin Jefferson anywhere, right? Yeah. And but certain players are going to be like Hunter Renfro. He's right. a slot. He's not an outside guy. Right. Right. Well, I mean, again, I th- I think Kirk can do all of it, but I, I think he thrives in that slot. You know, and it's like, look, flip it around on the defense. You know, when you got a two outside corners and then you got a nickel that can come close to covering that slot, you know what I mean, one-on-one, that's when you, you got something there. So it's kind of how you can flip-flop it, you know, from offense to defense, how important that position really is to – How do you feel um, Kirk was doing last year compared to the year – before when he got hurt um not not well I don't I don't know production wise but my eye test I would say because Calvin was here and it felt like at times and I know the stats don't totally show it it felt at times that Trevor not forced it but was more compelled to go to Ridley um and I know we went through the stats last year that it, that's the targets aren't that that much of a discrepancy yeah. I don't think right but it just kind of felt that so I would say he was less productive before he got hurt. Actually, about pretty close, right pretty close to yeah. even. Right? Okay, he was good. he was on pace for eighty one catches. Yep. He had um, eighty five. Was it eighty five? The year eighty four. The year before. Okay. So right there. Yep. Year before he had eleven oh eight in terms mm-hmm. of yardage. Mm-hmm. He was on pace for eleven fifteen. I mean, right yep. there good. on the yardage, his okay. touchdowns were down. Yep. Right? He had three through twelve games. He had eight yep. the previous season, so he wasn't likely going to get to that. But Otherwise, in terms of the volume, yeah, it was right there, you know. Right. And you just added a thousand yard receiver right. to the mix, um, or at least you had Ridley taking whatever Marvin Jones did and adding to that. Yeah, last year yeah. should have been better than it was. Quite it frankly, should no, without a doubt, way more consistent. With, without question. All right, so you think that the value is not bad, but you still leaning towards not doing the seventeenth pick for Ayuk. I mean, you make a really compelling argument because you know what you're going to get out of them, and it does. I, I said no, actually. Yeah, I, but I, I, I think yes. the argument is compelling. Yeah. It, well, because here's the thing. Okay, I do believe, or at least, let me say, not believe. I want to see, if say my fallback is Gabe's going to be my ex. Let's just say, say that. I want to see that he could do it first, right? But in the best scenario, Ridley was here or Ayuk or whoever, and then Gabe's on the other side as my yeah. Z, who can, you know, go yeah. one-on-one and get down the field. That's the perfect setup, I think, with Gabe Davis being added to the the, the, the I room. think that's what they were looking so, for. You grab a guy like Ayuk, yeah, that makes perfect sense. But could you grab a rookie that does well, the same the thing? Well, that's the thing. you grab a rookie who does that, and he'll make less in four years than Ayuk will make in one? That's the difference. Right. But the difference also is the risk of not getting that well, wide out. Burden and a, hand to and a, the bush, you know. Granted, right? Or And the risk is also, does that guy develop the way you Think project him to? Right. But then again, right. is Ayuk just a great fit in Shanahan's system? That's a good and does point, he benefit Mike. from having McCaffrey and Debo and yep. all these other, you know? And, yep. and there's some of that, I'm yep. sure. Because if we're, I mean, Kittle. it works that way for everybody. Exactly. Yeah. That's Birdie not, that's not to say they don't benefit from Ayuk. No, being right. there, of course, but it all works together. together. So right. it, there's no, I, I think, reasonable people on both sides of that argument for sure. All right, yeah. we got to take a break. Uh, we'll come back. If you're on the line, stay there. We'll get to you coming up. Tony will take us around the league. Got more to run by the desk of one Tom McManus asking you today as our question of the day. What's the best addition the Jags have made to this team? Is it your defensive coordinator Ryan Nielsen or is it Eric Armstead? Mitch Morse, Gabe Davis, among the bigger name players that they've added so far this offseason. This is Jaguars Today on 1010XL 92.5 FM. Jaguars Today Friday is brought to you by CSS Fireplaces and Outdoor Living from the JOI Studios at 1010XL, where the pros go. 1010XL keeps it live and local even longer. Go into the night with Rick Ballou. I wouldn't be surprised. He's got two, maybe three good seasons left. Then it's Hacker After Dark. I think his record speaks for itself. Evenings on 1010XL. 
At Randy Marion Cadillac in Jacksonville, we have over 40 2024 all-electric Cadillac lyrics in stock. Take advantage today of two awesome incentives. First, a $7,500 rebate applied to the purchase price directly at signing. That's a $7,500 rebate with no need to wait for tax time. And second, a $1,500 credit for a high-speed in-home charger. Over $9,000 in savings. Now's the time to drive away in luxury in a brand-new all-electric Cadillac lyric. Randy Marion Cadillac, Southside Boulevard, Jacksonville, plus tax tech title 899 admin fee and resist all. Tell them Jennifer sent you. Hold on tight because All Pro Roofing is unleashing some electrifying news. Brace yourselves for instant excitement. Instant roof quotes are here. Simply surf over to their website and hit the instant roof quote tab. Boom! That's your ticket to a lightning fast estimate. Head over to allproofingllc.com. Click that instant roof quote tab. What are you waiting for? Click on the instant roof quote tab today at allproofingllc.com. License number CCC 132706. CDC 060138. Lauren Brooks here from Mayport CNC Fisheries. Growing up at the beach, I know good shrimp and oysters when I see them. They're local and they're fresh. That's why Mayport CNC Fisheries is my go-to for both. They have local shrimp in stock seven days a week. Eat like a local at Mayport CNC Fisheries. Get closer to nature. I'm Jeff Logman with Captain Kevin and Captain Kirk. We take you from the water to the woods. The Nimnik Outdoor Show, presented by Duck Duck Rooter Plumbing and Septic Services, seven to ten every Saturday morning on 1010XL. Hi, I'm Sean Monahan from Monahan Jewelers in Atlantic Beach. Since 1977, we've been Jacksonville's family jeweler where our true specialty is engagement rings and custom jewelry design. And now, buy your diamond engagement ring at Monahan's and get any diamond wedding band and men's wedding bands for 50% off. Come in and be treated like family for one of the most important purchases of your life. Buy your diamond engagement ring right now at Monahan's and get any diamond wedding band and gents band for 50% off. Come to Monahan Jewelers in Atlantic Beach or book an appointment at MonahanJewelry.com. The Jacksonville Icemen continue their homestand Friday and Saturday as they battle the Greenville Swamp Rabbits in a key South Division matchup at Five Star Veterans Memorial Arena. Game time, 7 o'clock. Catch the exciting family fun action as the Icemen continue their push toward the Kelly Cup playoffs. Get tickets at Ticketmaster, JacksonvilleIceMen.com or call 904-602-PUCK. Icemen Hockey is hashtag fire within. When is the best time to buy a Yamaha Wave Runner? Right now. Make a splash this summer on a new Wave Runner from Ride Now Power Sports. No matter how you like to ride, Ride Now Power Sports has the model to fit your style. And for a limited time, receive a five year extended warranty on select new Yamaha Wave Runner purchases. Maximum fun, now with maximum protection. Only at Ride Now Power Sports in Jacksonville, 6407 Landing Boulevard, or online at ridenowjacksonville.com. 10XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396 5555. Jacksonville. Mackin with Tom McManus. Brought to you by Renewal by Anderson. A better way to a better window on 1010XL. And we did give an option uh, for Mac Jones as being one of the best additions oh. to this team. I mean, he could have been. Uh, we're just talking about the, the quarterback market and how interesting it is and what certain guys go for. Kenny Pickett goes for more than Justin Fields. Right. Like, you're like, who would you rather roll the dice on? You know, but it, yeah. some of it I think is still, at this point, is Kenny Pickett more inclined just to accept his fate? You know, like, if I'm Justin Fields, I'm busting to, to show I can still yeah. be a starting quarterback in this league. That's yeah. my agenda. Right. I feel like Kenny Pickett should be – Thankful every year he gets to continue yeah, to be I employed. I feel that way too. You know, I kind of feel that the, the the former with Mac Jones. I mean, he he wants to probably be a starter again. Maybe not. Probably here, does right, but, but he probably realizes as well that for the short term, or at least here, coming in and, and yeah. rehabbing his his reputation. Not not that he's a bad guy. No, you know, I know. That's right, but just know. like his his quarterback reputation. Right. Um. And look, we understand they put him in some. What's this yeah. called? Weird circumstances. <laughs> yeah. now, how are you going to run an Same offense least. without an offensive coordinator, Tony? Right. I don't. For sure. I don't know. But and I do feel like with field specifically, it's a pretty good landing spot for him in Pittsburgh because I do think there's a pretty pretty clear path to him becoming a starter soon. I, I agree. Right with, that. with the right. Pittsburgh Steelers, I also think that even if he doesn't win that job to start this season, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world for Fields to have to sit on the bench and watch, and watch Russ play. Yeah. You know, if that's how the situation plays out with the, good the things they talk about it 
with Justin, yep. right? Like it is this, does he see the field well enough, the game well enough? Because his skill set's off the charts, yep. right? Like he's got right. everything you would want out of a quarterback. It's the, can he read it quickly enough to be effective right. using all the things that we know he has? Well, a month sitting there watching it may help him. You know, Good. ultimately yeah. do all those different things. At some point, you got to get it back on the field to see if he's learning anything. Right. You know, doing all those different things. But I don't think it'll kill him to watch Russell Wilson play, even if it is for a year. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, go to the lines. Our man, Fan Cam, loves to check in with Tommy Mack on Friday. What's up, Cam? Hey, good morning, guys. What a great weather and a phenomenal TPC it was. A good timing on getting in there, Tommy. That was an amazing finish. It was. I even had, I had money on Schaffler, but I was hoping that I'd make the putt so I could get to see more golf. It was so much fun. That was great. I, I got a I got a vote on your uh, what another masterful class by Balky, by the way. This off season, it's incredible how he's plugged in the pieces we need. And if you can get a Hiku Nuku at seventeen for a receiver, you know you don't need Ayuk. That's for sure. <laughs> I would cast I would cast my vote for Nielsen because the problem with uh, the defense last year and the team not making the playoffs was a lack of pressure from anywhere other than our pair of rush ends who were at the top of the league in sacks, the two of them. But we got nothing from anybody else. Three cornerbacks, not one of them had a sack. Lloyd played the whole season without one sack. There was literally no creativity whatsoever in attacking the quarterback last year. So I'm looking forward to seeing Nielsen. And let me end you with a tip of the day for Tommy. I got a story for you next time I see you, Tom, about Irish car bombs. Okay. And uh, <laughs> the lesson I learned was if uh, somebody screws up your food order and offers you some free drinks for the mess up, don't keep taking car bombs for those free drinks because you might have a ball, but the wife will not be real happy with you. Mm, uh, you the... guys have a great weekend. All right, Cam. Sounds yeah. like uh, somebody was scraping him off the floor recently. <laughs> hey, listen, you're always learning. That's what life's all about, right? Got to keep learning no matter how old you get. Absolutely. All right, let's go. learn what's going on around the rest of the National Football League. Now, Gems Around the NFL, brought to you by Beaches Jewelry and Pawn in Jack's Beach. The Houston Texans are signing former number nine pick in the first round of the 2020 NFL draft by the Jacksonville Jaguars, C.J. Henderson, to a one-year deal. The Jaguars traded Henderson to Carolina in September of 2021 with a 2022 fifth-round pick to the Panthers. They got tight end Dan Arnold and the uh, draft pick that they wound up using on Chad Muma in return in that deal. Henderson had two interceptions, 10 passes defended, and 39 games there with the Panthers. New York Jets are re-signing defensive lineman Solomon Thomas who was a third overall pick by San Francisco in 2017. He spent the last two years with the Jets. Thomas is coming off a career-best five sacks last year, and the Detroit Lions have released cornerback Cameron Sutton. An arrest warrant for an alleged domestic battery by strangulation was ordered for by with Sutton in Hillsborough County in Florida on Wednesday. All right, thank you, Tony. Uh, Chad Muma, is breakout season incoming or no? Uh, I don't know. Mm. Oh, hopefully something. <sighs> Special teamer. You know. How many Jaguar fans right now would trade that third round pick for like a fifth and a seventh? <laughs> just <laughs> just to get the stigma of round three yeah. off. You know? Yeah, uh, Fortner was round three too. Wasn't Fortner he? was round three. Yeah. Bigsby was round three. Bigsby. And Mumo was round three. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I not a whole lot of productivity. No, nope. and normally your third rounder should be a, a big contributor. A b- to should to, I feel like they should be? Even. Yeah, right. A I mean, second round starter for right sure. away. You got to start in the second round. Like, you unless you're a loaded team. I mean, right. there are circumstances, of course. Of or you know, you're taking a guy. And there there are cases when it's okay. I think you know that's the balancing act. You know, you can always be looking to push all your chips in this year, but eventually the bill comes due, and you look up. Oh, damn! I wish we had paid attention to this position or that position. Yep. And that's part of a GM's job. Right. I'm not talking about bulky here specifically, just anybody. Just in general. You got to look ahead, yeah. man. I mean, I remember back in the early 2000s, Philly would draft corners. They'd be like, they got great corners. Oh, right. And they'd always be drafting corners in the second round. Yep. And, and then as those guys rolled out, they wouldn't pay them. And they'd have two guys ready to go, ready to go. like yep. right there. And, you know, when it works like that, it's fantastic. It's great foresight. When it doesn't, you go – Oh, what are you doing? You're you're drafting depth that never plays, and right. you know, yeah, yeah. You there can't was, win unless you win. There no, was some right. of that with what the Jags did in the second and right. third round last year. It was right. like, well, they're continuing to help an offense that's already pretty good. 
I kind of like this, right? Like that was some people's reaction to what happened. Now a year later, it's like, what it were was, they doing? What were you doing standing pat? Right. 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 How could you possibly stand pat? Well, and even more, what did you see out of those two guys, Strange and Bigsby? Well, like, why we, we saw it with yeah, Bigsby in the wrong. summer, I thought, right? I, and I just think Bigsby got in his head with the ball security stuff. Yeah. I mean, he looked like he was going to be a player, but the problem with that is you'd spent a fifth-round pick the year before right. on the running back position, and you have your starter. Right. You're spending multiple picks on depth running backs, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, yep. You know, I still think Strange has got something to offer. I want to see what, how they use him this year, but I think he's got some athletic ability. I think he's maybe tough. so, he but he, he he's got to do it. Like I know. You, you I, look at you look at go back two years ago to the Snoop Connor pick, Tom. Oh uh, no, Kyron Williams went to the Rams after that. Uh, what did he turn out to be last? I year? All he did was score touchdowns. He was like Christian McCaffrey light last year when yeah. he played. He really was. I mean, he was yeah. crazy productive last oh, he year. Was. You're right. And, uh, you know, we need to find that crazy productive fifth-round pick. What are you doing pick. with uh, Tyson Campbell if you're Balky right now? Are you extending him, or are you going to wait if and see I if he can come if back? I don't, I mean, look, it, that's the thing, right? You, I know. You know, Josh Allen was not a 17-sack guy last year. I know Tony said he would have paid him. I wouldn't have. I think it would have been malpractice to give him a top-of-the-market deal last year. Right. You know, you're, you're – Oh, pay, no, me too. You're paying him on – and then he goes out, you know, oh, you would have saved money. Well – He's still here, right? And we'll see if they get the long-term deal done. Are you going to pay Tyson Campbell top five corner money? I'm not. It might be. It, what if that's what it takes? I know. That's the quandary you're right. in, right? Do you roll the dice and say, hey, do we just chalk it up as a loss if it doesn't work right. out? Well, or- this goes back to process, right? And the big problem with Balky is process. It's that they didn't talk to Josh Allen last season about an extension. Yep. They didn't talk to him about it. They didn't talk to him during the season when it was clear how this whole thing was going to yeah. wind up playing out. They didn't talk to him. Talk to Tyson Campbell. Whatever your offer is this offseason, you may say it to him, and he goes, no, it's not near enough. Right. I'm going to play out the year. That may be the way the process plays out. Talk to him. Yeah. That's the job. That's the process. Because there is the chance that you make that offer, and he says, yeah, I'm willing to do it. There's at least the chance, but there's no chance if you say nothing to the guy. Like, I don't think you're going to have to pay him top five corner money right now, right? I think you make him an offer. Right. You make him an offer where you're comfortable making the offer, and if he says no, he says no. No one's hurt. Maybe so, but if that's the case, then it still ends up in the same place. Like, John Osher will swear to you, Josh Allen wasn't taking any kind of discount deal. Like, you think you're going to get him ahead of the the big money. He wasn't taking that money last year. He was going to bet on himself and yep. he and he did and yeah. that's the position he finds himself in well, maybe tyson will feel the same way maybe you so know don't know like uh, maybe but his situation is complicated enough that i would like i would make him what it, i would make him a competitive offer not we're going to make you a top 10 paid corner in the league i would make him an offer that would put him somewhere you know that 15 16 kind of range somewhere in there okay you know like i would make him that kind of offer because I think last year was a lot about the injuries and everything else that was going on. With the injury Tyson definitely, Campbell, are, yeah. Definitely. Right? Like, I still I think he's a really, really good player. And if yeah. you could get him right. at what would be a discount right. on that kind of I'd be willing to at least make the offer. Okay. If he tells me no, he tells me no. I think with Armstead being added, yeah, I mean, he should, the corner hey, look, should have a good For all we know, year. they're going to, right? Yeah. Because if they look and they go, okay, well, if we don't get a deal done with Josh Allen – if we want to keep him next year, the only way we can guarantee it is use franchise tag again, again. Then it's not available for Tyson Campbell. Yep. Right. I mean, you know, so it's not like it's a mystery. No. They know these things. So, uh, But at the same time, just because you know that doesn't mean you're willing to say, I'm going to give you all this money now to make sure that this gets right. done. Yeah. Because then if you do that, now what if Tyson Campbell goes out there and he plays like league average guy right. this year? And then, you know what I like? Well, Andy, we don't factor in what, what, is, what do the players want. You know, like yeah. clearly the Jags and Josh haven't agreed on value or they would have a deal done. Well, why would the Niners, who've been to the Super Bowl last year, want to get rid of Brandon Ayuk? Yeah. Because yeah. what he, what we may be willing to pay him, they're going, well, we got to build a 53 man roster right, here. Right. And if he wants close to $30 million yep. and we're paying this, this, and this, and this, and Purdy ain't going to be this cheap forever. That's right. That's right. You know, I mean, so. Teams do it. They let go. Why, why is Legereus Need available in trade? Because yep. Kansas City would like him, but they can't, can't necessarily him pay him yep. 
the most money of any cornerback in the league. Right. Especially they redid Jones's deal and right, they yeah. just gave Jones. You can't I, give everybody top. Dollar. Everybody can't get everything. No. Does that mean Kansas City doesn't want to retain their own guy, Lajarius well, Sneed? How can right. that be? Yeah, you got to pay your own guys, right? Well, and, and for the player, you know, you, that's that's the, the dice you roll. Do I take this money now? Like sure, they offer Tyson whatever it is. Do I take that now, knowing that I'm gonna get it? Right, there's gonna be guaranteed money, or do I go another year? And risk the you know the chance and, and, of and it goes both ways. Morris Jones Drew took a deal before he had really become the established starter here, yeah. and he always felt for years after that he he should have held he should have waited. He should have right? waited. But if you wait, yep. and you, you get hurt, know, yeah, you don't know it. Now happen. you got bupkis. That's right. right. I mean, right. players so, carrying all the risk. There's right. There's yeah, you're right. right. There's a benefit to signing that. There is. You got set up for life, even if it's not fifty million guaranteed. If you can't live on. Five million guaranteed as a head start in life, right? And can you know? Come on, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, so. and you're still young. Exactly, Tyson's still young. You got plenty of so. uh, plenty of time to earn more. Yep. On top of it. All right, we'll come back. Uh, today's question of the day, presented by Chad and Sandy Real Estate. Who's the best addition the Jags have made to their team so far this off season? We nominated Armstead, Davis, Morse, and Nielsen. We'll take a look at the poll. Uh, it's really a two-person race right now, but how do we feel about it? We'll give you our thoughts on that as we wrap up the week of Jaguar coverage. This is Jaguars Today on 1010XL 92.5 FM. Jaguars Today Friday is brought to you by CSS Fireplaces and Outdoor Living from the JOI Studios at 1010XL, where the pros go. Your home for Florida Gators basketball is 1010XL. The Gators put their best foot forward as they step into the big dance against Colorado. Today at 4.30 on 1010 AM. At Honda, we appreciate all the comparisons to other vehicles. And no matter how many times they compare their vehicles to a Honda, only a Honda is a Honda. Remember, value, quality, safety, there is no substitute. Visit your local Honda dealer now and experience the difference. Winter time at the Blue Crab Crab House. You know what that means. Time for oysters. Buy them by the tray, broiled, half shell with Romano cheese, wine topping, or fried. And of course, each and every Wednesday, $1 oysters at the Blue Crab Crab House. Serving Northeast Florida since 1996. Make reservations by calling 260-CRAB. Jacksonville's best, the Blue Crab Crab House, off of San Jose on Jewington Creek Road. AgPro has been family owned and operated for over 64 years. Need a new tractor, parts for your used equipment, or reliable service? AgPro has you covered. Visit us today at any of our AgPro locations or go online to agproco.com to get started with your AgPro experience. Ever wonder how you can transform your living spaces into captivating works of art? At First Coast Lighting and Fans, they offer a huge selection of high quality products to match your desire for elegance, quality, and uniqueness. Visit their showroom on Phillips Highway at the Avenues and step into a world of quality without compromise. Discover the difference that locally owned expertise makes and let them help you experience the transformation from average to extraordinary. At First Coast Lighting and Fans. If you're getting engaged and want to spend way more than you should on a diamond, go ahead and shop the Big Chain Diamond Store. They love taking your money. But if you want the lowest price guaranteed, shop Beards Diamonds. Right now, get five years, 0% financing with nothing down. Dan Hicken and Jeff Prosser share the huddle with Freddie T. Bring it in, bring it in. Monday morning running back with Fred Taylor is fueled by Epstein and Robbins. Fred Taylor, he's a candidate to go the distance. And B&B Fuel and Lubricants on 1010XL. Navy Mutual would like to salute all Medal of Honor recipients that have been given our nation's highest award. In 1990, Congress designated March 25th as National Medal of Honor Day, and it was signed into law by President George H.W. Bush. Committed to the mission. At Navy Mutual, we're committed to providing high-quality life insurance to members of the military and their families. Because at Navy Mutual, our highest commitment is to you. Visit NavyMutual.org. Ross, I'm thinking about changing my name. Again? You're already the media mogul, the straw that stirs the drink, the Duke of Pablo Bay. Now what? Refer to me as Dreamfinder's Danny Hicken. What in the blazes? Is this a cash grab? No, it's just that I believe so much in Dreamfinder's homes. 20 locations in Northeast Florida, official home builder of Jags and Gators. Great opportunity for first-time homeowners. All right. Dreamfinder's Danny it is. Did I mention the lowest interest rates you can find? Visit DreamfindersHomes.com. Now let Dreamfinder's Danny celebrate through the majesty of song. Dream finders, oh, I believe they will build your stop. home just right. Your cooling system isn't working. 
Maybe somebody showed up with a portable electronic device. Then they discussed with you what your options are. Maybe they gave you an estimate that seems like an awful lot of money. What's the smart thing to do? When the situation merits a second opinion, get a Mike Merritt opinion. Yes, the Mike Merritt comfort team shows up with hand tools. We've never been able to fix an air conditioning problem with a tablet. Mike Merritt has been the trusted name for more than 30 years because there's never any hocus pocus. The Merritt team will walk you through the diagnostic steps up close and personal and show you exactly what you need. And the Mike Merritt price is likely to be far less because there's never an overtime charge and the Merritt team doesn't work on commission. So remember, when it comes to the health of your cooling system, a second opinion can only help and a Mike Merritt opinion can save you money. Florida License CACO 50384. Hey gang, Hicken here. March is Workplace Eye Wellness Awareness Month. Here's a tip for those in front of a computer all day. Follow the 20-20-20 rule. Set a timer as a reminder to look 20 feet away every 20 minutes for 20 seconds. This can be as simple as looking away from your computer screen or out the window. If virtual meetings keep you in your seat for extended time, shut your eyes for 20 seconds. Call or visit Bowdenye.com. Dot com today to schedule your consultation. About night, keeping the first goes focused. I'm with Greg from Cycles of Jacksonville. I know Honda, they're so cool on the road and off the road, but guess what? Tell them about them being on the water. There is an all new Honda boat coming out. We went out and partnered with Scout, who's been making the finest holes in the business for years. They're fuel efficient, dynamic, and class leading. So Honda is in the boat business, and you will see boats coming to Cycles of Jacksonville soon. We will have them in the spring, ready to go. Cyclesofjacksonville.com. Keep track of all of it. Find them on Atlantic near Regency. 1010XL is presented by Vara and Vara, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Yeah, I'm McManus. Brought to you by Renewal by Anderson. A better way to a better window on 1010XL. So, Tom, what's up with the dad bonds? Uh, we've been off all March, uh, but we're going back to Iggy's on 420. Uh, that's right. You did Saturday. mention 420. Yeah, that's, that's, our first that's the draft. weekend before the draft? Is that right? Um, I believe that's correct. I think think you're correct. correct. Absolutely. We'll be out on Iggy's patio. In May, we're playing down at the Legion. Remember our first show was at the American Legion down in Palm Valley? And uh, good friends of ours have taken over that place, redone the whole thing. It's supposed to be awesome. I haven't seen it yet. So we're going to play there on the 18th. Um, And then I don't know after that. Yeah, 25th (laughs) uh, through the 27th this year for the draft. Nice. So Very nice. Which is about the exciting time. Hopefully. A little less than five weeks away, right? Yeah. Five weeks from yesterday yep. is uh, round one. Yep. There you go. It's going to be interesting how it uh, from now until then, you know, because the stories will come out, things will come out. Are they true? Are they not true? Are they? And I'm not talking Jag. I'm talking the whole NFL Every, draft. Everything, you know? yeah. You're going to start hearing, you know what? I don't know if Caleb should be number one anymore, you know. I think I, you're hearing a little of that already. I, I think, though, <laughs> I think we're getting it done now. Yeah. Like, I <sighs> – it's 99 point and string as many nines as you want. I can't speak for the Bears. I mean, something could happen. Like, barring something happening that we don't know about between now and then, right, I don't think there's this. any chance they're not taking Caleb it. Caleb and Trevor, right? We all agree when Trevor came out, nobody was not taking him with the first Correct. Do we Correct. believe that? Yeah. Yes. So, with Caleb? I think same. it would be the same. Same. Okay. I think well, ultimately. Cost, you needed a quarterback. Yeah, you'd look at it. You, you got to do your due diligence. I mean, Jaden Daniels did win the Heisman. He yeah. performed great Very in the good. SEC and yeah. all that. But Caleb Williams has been on that track. I heard Denny Thompson was on this morning. You know, he's been okay. working with six points. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, he's the number one guy coming out of high school. He's been on this yeah. trajectory, and he's done enough to show you that he's got that ability. Yep. Um, you know, a little one, just over six feet, not the biggest. Yeah. guy in the world, but yeah. neither is Mahomes. I, I guess Mahomes is tall. I keep forgetting Mahomes is Mahomes like six three. He is. I stood next to him. I couldn't and, and believe it's crazy he was that tall. I'm telling you, we had him on yeah. in yeah. person at the Super Bowl the year he was coming out, and he looked really small. To me. Wow. I mean, he sat right across. It just looked maybe it was just his demeanor. He's quiet at the time, yeah. right? You didn't know much about him. Yeah. He just looked really, really small. Yeah, but whatever. Well, he's not. He's not. He's a big dude. All right, um, today. Question of the day, who's the best addition the Jags have made to their team so far this offseason? Let's discuss with a 10-10 take. 
10, 10, 10, 10, 10, take. Now, Mike Dempsey's 10, 10, take brought to you by Leonard truck accessories. I mean, poor Gabe Davis. You know, you, there's a fourth guy in every poll, right? <laughs> right. And sometimes I like, there's not a knock on him. He's important. Yeah. If you didn't have him right now, Who would you have? wide receiver would be easily your top need. You could still yeah. consider it your top need if you choose to. Yep. Um, but. Well, maybe you go fry you if you don't have him right now. Maybe you would, you right? Know, maybe you'd be more inclined to make dunk. that yeah, more that deal. Yeah, maybe. I think if you're willing to make that deal for Ayuk, you make that deal regardless. Yeah, you know? no, like, I, like, I agree with that. I'm just saying, like, or if you, you here, maybe pay you the are. extra three to get Calvin yeah. back. You know, like one no, or the right. other. It's like something along yeah. those lines. Yeah, yeah, but they did yeah. get the deal done, and you wonder did that influence anything with yeah. the numbers? Although sure. you know, look, Trent Balky said going in, we know where Calvin's at. He knows where we're at. Right. Yeah. Anyway. Close. <laughs> uh, so you got Close Gabe enough. Davis. He's not okay. doing much here yep. in this poll. Ryan Nielsen not doing much either. Because be, and, and I'm generally players over coaches as well. I, coaches can have a big impact. There's no question about it. Yep. And uh, but between the two of them, they're pulling about 10 percent mm-hmm. of the vote. So okay. it comes down to Armstead v. Morse. Yep. Right. I think people look at Armstead and say he's a better player. But they look at Morse and say it was a bigger need to replace center than it was to bring in a defensive tackle. I'm not saying defensive tackle no, wasn't a big need. I just think that that for most people, that if they wanted to replace one starter from yep. last year, Fortner was the guy that they were focusing in on. So Tom McManus, who is the best addition? And you can vote for any of them. Who yeah. is the best addition that, that they've I'm, I'm going to go Armstead. Um, he, not necessarily he was coming in to replace anybody, but the addition of him, mm-hmm. uh, the pushing around, in my opinion, stops now. Like, our Jags got pushed around, man. They the, the team and both sides. So you could make a case for more. So don't get me wrong, in the same kind of vein. But the blueprint to beat our team was to out hit them, out physical them, and our defensive front got pushed around way too much. And I think with Eric Armstead, that stops as soon as he hits the field. And on top of that, you've got two outside guys that did so great last year, which obviously I was off on. Without an interior presence, you know, of of any kind of pressure consistently whatsoever. So, I think it upgrades the run defense. I think it upgrades the pass uh, rush. I think he's just a – when that pick came through, I was like, that's a great pick, man. That's going to change this defense quite a bit. Maybe in the vein of Clayus Campbell. I don't know if we could say that just yet, but I tell you what, if that kind of presence comes through, he's going to be just like important as Clayus was back when he was here. Tony. Uh, if they had a player of Eric Armstead's caliber on the interior last year, Josh Allen may have had a 23-24 sack You may be right. You know, like he was a monster uh, last year. But several opportunities created by adding Armstead. I still go back to the number one need that I saw for the team going into the offseason was get Fortner out of the lineup. Right. Right? Like that was my number one need going yeah. into the whole offseason. They've done that with Mitch Morse. And I think they're – we don't even know – what the effect is going to be on the rest of the guys on that interior of the offensive line to not have a negative at the yeah. center position for them and how much that can help everything they do. You talked about them getting bullied on defense along oh, the yeah. line of scrimmage. They got crushed yep. on the interior of the offensive line. That's why third and fourth and one were impossible situations for this team yep. last year. I don't think that's going to be the case going into 2024. Yeah, I think Armstead's a better player. Um, it's – so, you know, 60 40 it, it, it's, somewhere in there. Yeah. Like, I think he's a better player. I think he's gonna, you're going to notice him more in, in a good way. Yep. But that's the thing about center. You only ever really notice him in a bad way, right? right and, on occasion, you see a yep. great pancake block or something like that. But for no other reason than I don't have to hear about the running it back with the offensive line, all, all yep. five guys. <laughs> I, I mean, just the, the narrative on the Fortner thing, it had to. Be addressed and look. It's still even if they didn't sign Morris, they maybe would have been drafted in a center. You yeah. know, coming up, they, right. maybe they still will at some point in this draft. Morris only on a two-year deal, yeah. right? But I just think it's it's he's not as good as Armstead is at, at his position, position but, but I think he represents maybe the bigger upgrade. So okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna Fair. go with Tony on Morse. Uh Fifty-three percent saying Armstead, thirty-seven percent saying Morse. And uh, Davis and Nielsen splitting you know, the look, other 10%. Well, both, we, great thing is the interior, both lines got upgraded with yeah. free agency. Yeah, and well, let's hope that they are just more than just mere upgrades. Oh, they right. play no, right. very, yeah. very well. I, particularly Armstead. Like, I, I, Armstead, yeah. 
Let's get him up in that eight to ten sack range and yeah. see what impact that is on uh, oh. on Josh and Trayvon. I know what kind of impact it's going to be. And and Jared Verse <laughs> and Braden Fisk. Those are our first two picks, by the way. We'll get we get Verse and Fisk and what we'll the best we'll front put seven Fisk in there. That'd be nice. That'd be all right. Or Verse too. I'd take that all day long. Uh, that'd be all right. All right. Uh, Four State Pro Day going on today. All right. Let's say hello to XL Primetime. Josie and the crew taking over for the next three hours. Joseph, how are you? I'm doing great, man. I love this time. You know it. Uh, we watched yesterday uh, from noon till past midnight just to see who was going to fall, who was going to stand. Kentucky, hey, Big Bourbon Nation, take that. You're done. It was awesome. Yeah, it was. Uh, and uh, dude was knocking down threes oh. left and right last night. I had Samford. That was my big upset pick. They came within four of Kansas. That would have been nice. Yeah. But, hey, bro, my wife's bracket is, is looking spectacular. She is uh, – Really doing great. Uh, has NC State making a run to the Elite Eight, and uh, it's shaping up pretty good for that at the nice. moment. So we shall see. Hey, let, yeah. Where are you guys uh, holding let, court today, Joe? By the way. All right. So we're at Top Dog Tavern. Okay. And it's a uh, uh, just a. Uh, I think if anybody is right there, and we can call it the County Line area, Old St. Augustine Road, Bartram Springs. Uh, we're just a little bit down from Publix. Between Publix and Coles is probably the best way uh, to describe it. But Top Dog Tavern. We've got Coach Campo hanging out with us for the entire three hours, me and Maddie, and you've got all sorts of – they've got eight lunch options for only eight bucks Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., outstanding food, cold beer, so they will have all sorts of specials as they go through uh, March Madness while we're here and then, of course, uh, throughout the rest of the tournament because it's the gathering place here at Top Dog Tavern. All right, though, we'll be listening, Joe. I'm sure plenty on the tournament and everything else going on. Yep, sounds good, Mike. Thanks, man. All right, buddy. There he goes, Joe Cowart and the XL Primetime crew at the Top Dog Tavern right there at the Duval St. John's County line. All right. Tommy Mack. All right. Yeah, so, uh, Tony, what you got cooking this weekend? NCAA tournament? NCAA tournament. Uh, Vanderbilt baseball. Oh. Two oh, of the SEC play. 3-0. Uh, and o, uh, Swept Auburn last weekend. We'll see wow. what we got this weekend. Yeah. All cool. right. Tommy Mack, no uh, no dad bods. So. Uh, no dad bods. Uh, we're finishing up spring break. You know, my Kelsey goes back to Massachusetts tomorrow night. Mm-hmm. So, I'm uh, going to do a lot of hanging out. Probably watch the tournament. Okay. You know, I know it's raining out. She's desperately trying to go back with a tan, and she's succeeded. She's been in that sun, <laughs> I swear, every wow. minute. Wow. Uh, she, I know. Yeah. Th- th- you go from... 30s to down here, you're yeah. like, oh, this is heaven. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But uh, yeah, it's been of, nice of most of the week. So it has been. Yeah. It's been real nice. All right, RJ, any big plans for you this weekend? Uh, yes, on Sunday here on 1010 XL 92.5 FM, we have a show, Open Gym, talking the latest around the NBA. So that's my weekend. Can't beat it. All right. right. I want it wall to wall Jalen Brunson and nothing else, please. <laughs> oh, I'll, yeah. That's yeah. all I want to hear from. Uh, you and lots of others. I will uh, break the seal after a month off the course and go back out this weekend. <laughs> oh, and, nice. And see if uh, I should take another I month. I was thinking off. of swinging a club or two in my yard. Yeah. Just to get the most. Go to fan cams and Just go play go the, uh, the, oh, his little mini even, island green yeah, you know that what? He, he's built over idea. there. Right down the block, bro. That's right. He's not too far. All right, well, that will do it for us today. Thanks to all our great guests all week long, uh, providing some Jaguar insight. And for all of you out there in Radio Land for listening along as well, Tony and I will be back. So we'll pockets still in Denmark on Monday as we'll start a fresh week, be about four and a half weeks out from the 2024 NFL Draft. Everybody have a uh, great and safe weekend. Enjoy yourselves, and we'll talk to you then right here on 1010XL and 92.5 FM. Hey, folks, Mike Dempsey here for Danny Food Sandwiches, Subs. Yeah, they got everything for you. They got breakfast. They got lunch. They got dinner. They got snack time. If you're on the go in Duval, man, it takes you a while to get just about anywhere. We're all spread out. But, you know, you have gate stations all over Jacksonville. So swing in, fill up the tank, and fill up your belly with some great offerings from my friends, the Thompson family, the creators of the Dandy line of sandwiches and subs. They started this company nearly 70 years ago now, and they are thriving here as a Duval based outfit because they take care of the locals. They employ a bunch of you, but they also provide great food at a wonderful price made with the highest quality ingredients. Super easy, quick, and convenient on-the-go options for you. No fuss, no muss. You know you're going to have something for every kind of appetite, whether it's that classic tuna salad that I love, the protein packs, the fruit cups, and anything in between. Food on the go is dandy in Duval. So when you're hungry, do what I do. Go out and make yours a dandy and do it today. Jaguars Today Friday is brought to you by...